Rugby One, Sean Hawkins, one of the big hitters in the anti flat earth community. Uh, I, I just thought that was funny, but it was for uh, an EQ mount, and he raised thirteen hundred dollars for an EQ mount. Oh wow! Aye. Nice. There it is. Uh, but I just thought it was funny that they called Sean Hawkins a big hitter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that that doesn't look like a $1,300 EQ amount to me. I mean, maybe a couple of hundred pounds. Maybe. I mean, I looked up for one of the more expensive EQ mounts and it was like £700, so roughly like $900. And mm-hmm. you get well over 1500 Fucking hell, it's fucking all about money in the end. What's an EQ max? EQ mount. EQ, an equatorial mount. <clears throat> Moves your telescope that? for you automatically. Oh. Which also Wait. couldn't work in flat earth. Yeah, it works, works because the earth is a globe and couldn't possibly work if the earth was flat. But don't let a little thing like that worry you. The fact that we've got oh, machines, you know, how... working machines that you know, that couldn't no, possibly no, no, work no. if the earth is flat. But no, don't no, worry see, about that. See, you got this. That's not got... good evidence. Forget no, about you... it. Oh, okay. Well, how about the evidence of how astrology got started, or astronomy, sorry, how astronomy got started? Would you believe that some Yahoo with a $50 telescope from Walmart took a look at the stars and knew nothing no. about the stars? No, I wouldn't believe that, I wouldn't here's believe Venus. that at all for a moment. So. No, and then said, here's Venus. It looks like it's about this far away. It's yep, this that's Galileo for you. He went to yeah, shop at Walmart. <laughs> uh-huh. That's what I was yep. thinking. Uh, I called it Walmarto. Can you tell me how believable that story is? Hmm. Uh, could you stop eating that, on me, Marcus? Because you're really is, fucking starting to annoy me. That is the perfect <laughs> example of confabulation. <laughs> yeah, history has, it has, has absolutely no confabulate stories like that. Yeah, that has absolutely nothing to do with whether or not you can go in your backyard and do it right now. Yeah. You know, if I did it in my backyard and came up with any numbers, it would be a miracle if I came close. You're, you're dead right, I believe you. <laughs> would be, that would be a miracle. Would you. I think you'd have trouble trying to tell how tall a tree was using... Uh, how did Galileo do it? By the way, party poet, if that's the kind of shit that you come up with, uh, it's not really one or no one is taking you seriously. Oh. Don't worry, right. the flat earth and I'm the one not being shit taken arguments through. after all these years that you all, you just don't have, you know. No, it's trying to be all value out of your ass. I mean, yeah. really. I mean, the guy is a lunatic actor on YouTube, and you think, hmm. He's a good source of clever arguments that I can use to promote my idea. I mean, how how detached from reality can you become? I don't know. You're the one talking. How detached are you? I think I'm very detached. Well, it looks that way. Sorry to hear it. That was a sarcastic ooh, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about how Galileo looked at the stars, how your entire fundamental origins of your knowledge. You're fundamental. Are... You're a fundi. You're a, a fundi. Globe fundi. Yeah, with your yeah. former fallacies. <laughs> That's why you're yeah, fundi did it with your fa- formological affirming the consequent fallacy. <laughs> That's funny because I don't really give a shit about the history of it. No, it's called starting out starting out your knowledge based on utter bullshit fallacy. Hmm. Everything that I've learned can be repeated today. Thank you. You're doing a great job. Getting paid well. 
So what about it is bullshit? Well, no. Galileo looked at Venus, knew nothing about astronomy whatsoever, came up with okay. some cool numbers. How did he do that? Can you tell me? Okay, that already contained one lie that he didn't know anything about astronomy. He doesn't know anything about Galileo. He doesn't know anything about numbers. Why would you take anything this man has to say seriously at any point? He don't know much about history. Well, of course. Shame and ridicule. Congrats. Shame and ridicule when, when you actually lied, so um, there's a good reason. What Shame. did I lie about? Name one thing I lied about. That I mean, Galileo didn't, didn't know lie. anything he about just, astronomy. That's stupid. Oh, not a lie now. Well, but 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 I got called a liar. You're either lying or that stupid. Take your pick. He's lying. I actually I actually pointed out I, your I'll, lie. So I'll pick the one you choose to give an example with. Do you want to hear Wrong my either way? Again? Absolutely. You said that Galileo didn't know anything about astronomy, and that's just bull. You were almost able to Go teach ahead. David you earlier. Give Party Poet another hour. You can do it. You didn't say please, Party. That's what it was. I mean, the kings of the globe <laughs> oh. require um, pleasantness, politeness, and please show them your experiments, and they will gladly uh, give it to give it to you. Oh, okay. Please tell me why you think I lied. Because you That's were wrong. And you were deliberately presenting a false idea. And I think you're lying because I don't think you're actually that stupid. Oh. Kind of stupid, just not that stupid. <clears throat> You've got the stupid meter at your house going, oh, he's way smarter. Oh, and it is a fucking thing. Here's an interesting question, actually. Can a flat earther be only stupid, or is it necessary for every single one of them to be also dishonest? No, it's completely no, it possible that great, someone as long as you never tell us why we're dishonest. That doesn't necessarily mean no, they're stupid. I don't think they're. Yeah, I don't think they're the ones that we hear from. Yeah. As long as you just lambaste and BS your ass off. And scream going, he's a liar! Lies! Lies! Party lies, lies. Case, that doesn't apply. Mm. Party poet, I'm... It's 12 o'clock here, 12.20. And I wouldn't necessarily call my mumbling, screaming and shouting. I don't know waiting, about I'm you. I'm waiting for... I'm waiting for I'm, the... I'm one, more mumbling, seriously. I lied. Hang on. Party poet one thinks that, that you're in like well, everything. Anything. Got anything there? Yeah. If it was true, sorry, take sorry, party poet. If my screaming, screaming at the top of my lungs hurt your ear. Actually, I'm sorry. The screaming was from that Austin Powers movie, you know, where that Nazi bitch screams lies, lies, lies. <laughs> lies. Being on me, you cunt. <laughs> So, if you could give me one little example where I lied. Oh, I gave you the example. It seems blatantly dishonest to say that the guy who's considered the father of observational astronomy doesn't know anything about astronomy. What does he know? Godfather of astronomy. Go ahead. What did Godfather know? Knew all the observations that happened before, and then he knew the observations he took. Oh, he knew something. He's standing. To say on a that ball. he knew nothing is a lie. Okay, well, how did he figure out the distance to Venus? This is all I'm asking. You mm -hmm. know, pretty sure he did. That's... How did he do it? How did he do it? So, um, I think that's irrelevant, though. To Actually, did he determine the distance to Venus? No, anything that yeah. proves, proves I think he, I think that was based on an assumption, but I don't know how he came to a, a, such a good assumption because it did seem pan out. No. No, anything that proves you're full of shit is irrelevant. Yeah, that would be interesting to know how he came up with it, but it's irrelevant because today we can do it. 
through alternate means too. By the way, it's how he the bullshit story? How he measured means. it? Oh, you're such, you're you're my hero. Partly, but how he measured it, by the way, is irre irrelevant to the question that we were talking about whether he knew anything about astronomy. Okay. So you kind of. He's your godfather of astronomy. What the fuck did Godfather know? We already said what he knew. Like, why are you repeating the same questions? If you don't want to hear the answers, then just go away. No, I would like to hear an answer that's not. And we not answered a party board, so you're getting tired. Good night, gentlemen. I can't stand this pissing. And you don't call that being a lying sack of shit. It's irrelevant. Our, the only thing that can prove that we're lying to you and our entire argument is based on utter bullshit, that part of it, please, it's irrelevant. Let's just talk about everything we can do today to back up. No, I was, I was just pointing out that you were deflecting from the topic, but sure, we can talk about that if you want. Uh, I'm sure that we can destroy you on that. Well, oh, please do. Please, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead and make your case. Your godfather of astronomy determined the distance to Venus, the temperature on Venus. God knows. Where did you get that idea? Yeah. That, uh, that's he, a belt waste lie, by the way. No, he actually. If it, isn't, if, you, if it isn't a lie, then provide a source. Thank you. He's your godfather of astronomy, and you are not aware. Of I know, that. I know. He's my godfather of astronomy. Now my question is: Can you provide a source of what? Of I your of your that. claim that he measured the temperature of Venus? Uh, I'll be here waiting. A YouTube movie that I watched said that okay, the God, your godfather of astronomy not only figured out the distance but also determined the temperature. Okay. Um, can you give me the uh, link? Probably not, no. Okay. So you believe everything you find on YouTube? No, no. I, I try to question it, but things like this that just fall into line with things that I was thinking about, and this will just keep the story that I got in my head going, I just stuck it in my head, and that's it. Okay. That, by the, that sentence, by the way, leaves a clear, clear indication that you're, you're a bull. A real flat earther would really say something as clean cut as that. Okay, this fits with my fiction that I want to keep in my head, so I just whoa, took whoa, it whoa, with whoa. no criticism whatsoever. That's, that's you... too bull okay. of you. You, you, just, saying... you, just, you just exposed your game. I think you're a pole. You don't believe uh, in flat earth because not, not. none of them would say that. All, yep, spinning through space all around, yep, around the sun once a year, zippity doo -dah. But while we're at it, could you tell me how Mr. your godfather mm -hmm. figured out the distance to Venus? And I don't think he did. You keep saying that. Yep. Oh, he didn't, did he? Actually, not that I know of. He may have had a distance, but I don't think he was accurate if he did. I know. This is one of those where I'm going to go look for hours for that stupid video and then come back going, look, you're, you're Godfather. And then you'll have this argument going, it's irrelevant. Look, what he did is irrelevant. How he did it is irrelevant. It's all irrelevant. In fact, if we could only talk about the shit we can do today and forget about all the bullshit we said that it's all based on, that would be good. So can you provide that source, though? Because if you can't, then it's just hypothetical anyway. It would be a YouTube video. Mm. Yeah. You won't so watch So I'm, I'm sorry. Think... I'm sorry if my demands for a source for your claims are you too much watch... for you. No. Are you willing to watch a video that's say an hour or so because the videos i watch on youtube they're always like an hour or longer uh and not I... right now it's uh 12 27 midnight here so 
I really need to be asleep in like 30 okay. minutes. Well, why don't you just PM me and I will, with when I find it, I will email you the link to a YouTube video. Yeah, I'm not, and I'm not uh, really like, I've been in this flat earth discussion since 2015 and I'm sure I took Google it seriously it. for about two years and I actually researched it. I'm way past that mark where I would actually watch a flat earth video for an hour. I know. That's why it would be pointless for me. Because, to uh, because it's two years ago when I like got enough of it already. I know. And anything that could prove otherwise is irrelevant. Uh, like you could easily no, you could if, easily give me an argument that proved you. prove it otherwise if, if earth was flat i don't need to see a I'm hour sure. long video or two hour or five hour long video you could yeah. prove it to me in 10 minutes in a discussion yeah. on, but, and i and i actually yeah. give you the give you guys the courtesy of discussion and honest uh honest debate like so Asking. we have been talking about this for so long and you guys don't ever you you guys can't ever prove it in the so why would i ever think that you could match it up with with a flat earth video and when i looked at flat earth honestly and seriously for two years every single video that i watched that you guys brought up was bullshit so why would this one video happen to be the exception exception to that by the way, I hear that you're talking over me or trying to... I don't give a crap. If you can't shut up for a moment, then you should, shouldn't even be in this discussion. By the way, the best estimate for the distance to the sun at the time of Galileo's observations was 60% the actual distance. So there's no way he could have had any accurate distances to anything else. Uh, no, the, his distance to Venus still stands today. And the temperature no, on and its atmosphere is da as damn close as Buddy wrote about it a thou almost a thousand years ago. Fuck. Well, not a thousand, sorry. Cup 500, whatever. The f Galileo. I don't even think you know who you're talking about. Galileo. By the way. Like, um... like 1700 something. If I really think hard, he's a 1700s shill. For the Illuminati, knew fuck all about the stars. Looked at him, going, "Well, listen, if you pay me extra, I'll put down on paper here's the distance to Venus and its temperature, but that kind of bullshit will cost you extra." Can, can I ask how he um, how he determined that distance? Oh, uh, according to all the Baltards here, that is irrelevant. No, 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 it's not the um, it's not the question I asked you. Oh, so so again, do you know how he determined the distance? He looked at it and said, "Hey, they'll pay me extra if I put a number down." And that's that's literally it. Like yeah. I, so I I go read a book right now about how he determined the distance. It'll say that. Go ahead. What I said will be so fucking close to the truth. It's not even funny. Root. Can you provide uh, an example of that? I'm pretty sure if you Google Galileo determined the distance to Venus. Or I just how, looked at it, like out of his window. I say something. He he just I, looked out his window. It's, yeah, you know what? About about as good a deal. Just, I mean, is, is that what he did, or is that not what he did? No, he he no he 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 built a telescope that you could beat for fifty bucks at Walmart today. And and then what? And then he looked at Venus. That, that's all he did. Are you sure that's all he did? Go ahead. You tell me. No, 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 no. I, I want you to okay, tell me because it sounds like you know. No, I told you. I watched a video, and here's what I remember from the video that I watched eons ago. And it basically says that Galileo looked at Venus, determined its distance, the temperature to it on it. Fuck, and, and you take that for absolute truth. Uh, you Wait know a minute. Right. Did you did you forget that you were actually watching something about the Galileo space probe that swung by Venus on its way to Jupiter? No, no, Galileo, your God. Yeah, I'm actually. The, the, the space I'm actually hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. If this this gentleman here, 
thinks he's as, as intelligent as he comes across, right? Like, uh, he obviously knows more than the rest of the world. Then obviously he knows how he determined it. And, and he must have oh, a very man. good reason for thinking that he simply looked out his window and determined it like so, right? Isn't that right? Do you, you have a good reason for believing that? Because uh, it yeah. sounds like you don't have a good reason for believing that. It sounds no, like I, yeah, sounds I, like you're a little I confused. No, I believe that. You do? Yeah. Really? So you're... The rest of the world is wrong, but you, you, you sir, you're... No, I, did not, I asked you to correct me, please, and tell me. No, no, no yeah. this is what you did. You actually no, called no, it BS, right? We just call you liars and assholes and retards, but proving it, that's irrelevant. Right, but uh, the problem I here know. is you called what he did BS, right? You claimed it was fake or false or, or couldn't happen or unlikely or unreasonable, oh, dude, right? I said this is what's written down in our history books. Well, no. What you said was this was in a video you watched eons ago. But it's part Isn't that of right? history books. It is. So you can find me a history book right now that says that? He just looked out his window and pulled a number out of his behind? So your strategy is to belittle this guy instead of getting into the nitty-gritty. Is that it? You're trying to act smarter than him? Is that your game here? Well, we've been asking for the details that he doesn't have. Them. Well, well, here's the thing. No, the game here is if the gentleman here is going to make an argument that, that, that it's BS, which I, I hear you talking. I presume you're telling me that it's still BS. Now, we need to know that you know how it's BS. Because if you don't know how it happened, then you can't call it BS. And so far, it sounds like you don't know how it happened. Well, here's what I know. That if I'm standing on this on this planet looking at a star with a fifty dollar telescope, there's no way on God's green earth that I could come up with anything remotely close to the truth. Well, you want to know, you want to know what else is not remotely close to the truth, and that's that. That's not the method he used to determine the. And Tell me! No, 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 no. This, this is the no, problem here. We don't do that here. That's not our job. This, our job is just this, to call you liars and idiots. Right, but you can't call anybody anything. Are you insane? Have you been hearing the shit I've been putting up with? I don't think you understand. If you don't know how he did it, you I... can't call it BS. Dude, sure you could. I am telling you that there's no way a I'm guy 500 is. fucking years ago could look into a $50 telescope. Actually, the Walmart telescope is better than what dipshit built. Okay. Look at a planet, which is really a ball in the sky, and determine anything about it. Please tell me how he did it. I'm well, clearly missing something. We all, <laughs> maybe, maybe what I'm trying to get across to you is a little too nuanced. We're all agreeing with you uh -oh. that you can't look at a dot in the sky and immediately know the distance to it. We agree. Okay. How You're did he correct. do it? How did he do it? Well, no. See, here's the no, problem. No, we can't tell you that. Nope. Uh-uh. Not our job. Well, here's the problem. If you're going to come in here and tell all of us that he did it wrong or he didn't, or the way he did it was poor or BS, you're going to need to tell us why. Dude, you're sounding like the king speaking. I'm, I I could see that from your point, your perspective. Hmm. Like so you've got all the answers, you right? You know the shit, king. right? Do you, do you want me to tell you what I guess Galileo's Portland, you mom Montreal. had the day she delivered him no, as well? What, Is that we, important? what we'd like you to do like is provide, you um, do. provide a rational argument for your claim. I'm pretty sure that any putts out there who can, you, who can Google, did Galileo determine the distance to Venus, it will spit some horse shit out for you to read. Well, uh, again, so for your track record of what is actually BS and what isn't, uh, and your ability to identify it, isn't very good because you don't know what you're talking about. Okay, there you like go. Like I said, I we agree with you. Clear cut. If, no, 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 clear cut. You're you're clearly the winner of this argument, and I can see why. Because 
It's you were able to babble for hours on end without providing a single fact, just belittling the other guy. Clearly, let's raise your hand. You are way smarter than me. I actually tried to provide facts and evidence. But you would mm. fuck all. Can, I, I don't think I don't think can, he tries to provide facts you, or evidence. Can you cite provide one example of a fact that you provided us? Can someone there please just Google the the dickhead discover V? Okay. No, no. So we, your way, uh, your yeah. way of providing evidence is for us to Google it. Oh my God! Can can you bear such a burden? So what was the request? Uh, dickhead. Discovered Venus is what you want Google search. <laughs> yeah, so oh, I, maybe true. maybe I, I don't we think I'm. Do we we will we will Google that all day for you. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm I'm being clear enough here. All right, do you do you, do you honestly think do right? You, oh, is that like part of your go to like you know when you're lost? It's like do you do 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 you yeah. honestly? There is, by the way, uh, there is a link in the side chat that says taking the temperature of Earth's twin. Galileo measures the heat of Venus. Now, this is actually talking about the probe Galileo. And those are actually the results that I got from when I googled Galileo and temperature of Venus. Wait, that, so, that sounds a lot like a, the satellite that passed by there. <laughs> Mm. Well, yeah, you see, we're yeah, not going to be able to verify it. anything yeah, that you tell us idea. until you until you I provide us with that. what you've seen, right? Could could you Google not modern day Galileo satellite? But no, no. We we'd like to know why you think yeah, what you th Galileo. Uh, again. Yeah. Uh, we we'd like to know what none what none. has um, lied, guided lied. your. I clearly, I lied, and you. Without a single shred of fact or evidence, beat me hands down. I I concede. I I think you it's see the ball. writing on the wall here that, that you ball. don't have anything, right? It's a ball thirty nine fifty nine or thirty fifty nine. What, what what was it was it again thirty fifty nine or thirty nine fifty nine? Fuck, you got to brush me up on this since I'm converting right now. You got me. <laughs> No, that's that's okay. We'd uh, we'd all a lot be a lot better yeah. off if you would you would research these things for yourself, rather than have us tell them to. Of course. Right. Like if if you're going to make an argument about anything that's happened uh, in the history of Earth, maybe you should know about it before making that argument. Oh yeah, actually, you know, today I thought about that word, his story. Some guy told you a story. And you fell for it. Is this? It even says some guy told you this story. It's not. It's not true. That's it's not, not how the etymology works. Facts. It's not. It's not called his facts. It's a story. Okay, that's that's nonsense too. I know, but it's interesting how they took those two words. Not this is not our, our past is not his facts or facts or factual. In fact, let's keep that word right out of history. <laughs> It's a story. All right. What next? Well, no, I'm just, first of all, first of all, I use the English language to make this determination of an analogy. The worst language to use, since it's the last one invented by Satanists for a, to hide all the fucking lies. You, um... You sound like you're highly educated about the world and how it works. Do I you, try. You try? I mean, do you, do you honestly, you come here and all these folks around you, like, I, I'm probably the dumbest, well, second or, dumbest person oh, in this room. Oh, dude, dude, you're way the Gator, smart. The one That's word right. from your sentence that is very you, accurate you, is the word high. Yeah. Is, is that it? Are you, are you in drugs right now? Party? Usually Not is. Yeah. Usually is. Yeah. Yeah. By his own admission. Well, like I said, by my own admission, if it, you should ask, has it been longer than a half hour since you were awake? Uh -huh. Do you think that's a good way going about uh, discovering objective truths in this world? 
No, it's a great way of putting up with folks like you who have no facts, no evidence, just a shitload of shame and ridicule. That by the truckload. I'm just learning how you guys get paid. Like, is that it? Don't you? No. Zero facts. Could you write that into your report every day? I was able to sit there for 24 hours and provided no facts, no evidence. Just sat there belittling every one of those florfers. Well, no, the, I, I did provide a fact, and that's like what you oh. don't know. Ah, ah, the, uh, the information, the information regarding the whoa, basis whoa, of your arguments, that, right? Wait, wouldn't that be back to shame and ridicule? So what? Do but you it's know also about Venus? it's also a fact. What right? do you know? Tell us. Like you, you made a Tell claim that clearly. wasn't based in reality, right? You, clearly, you, clearly, yes. Right? Clearly, clearly, after you belittle the fuck out of me you were able to come up with i state shit that isn't based on reality is is that how it comes out well no everybody here saw that because yeah because it's subjective you, truth right you, you didn't actually know how the distance to venus was determined which means you can't possibly call it bs i right? told you dickhead looked out his window and said, I will get paid a lot of money if I put a number down on a piece of paper. Except that's not true. Okay, well, how did he do it? Well, no, what we need you to do is admit that you made up the part where you called it BS, right? Because that's not that's not what happened. You need to establish that he did it at all. Dude, dude, you, could I, could, uh, you should like rent yourself out. You know, if a guy gets busted by his girlfriend or wife cheating... They should like bring you along and you're like, wait, 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 whoa, 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 wait, wait. Honestly, doop, 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 doop. Do you honestly, did you see him do it? Did you? You didn't see him do it. He didn't do it. So you're, you're lying saying, about him cheating on you. Hmm. Because right now what I'm doing is I'm busting somebody else who's lying. Seems like I'd be much better at busting without the cheater. Any, right? Without any evidence. I told you, you're here. You're my hero. <laughs> I mean, is the internet difficult to use? You don't need evidence to point out a lack of evidence. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah, you don't need evidence. You, to you point made out up lack. something. You could have said Galileo jumped on his flying cow and flew to Venus with a giant tape measure, right? I, no, I don't no, need no. evidence to say he that's incorrect. Spoon off the moon. No, it would be then, it, then, it would be actually up to us in that case if he said that Galileo flew to the moon with a cow, shoot shoot shot lasers. From his eyes, it would be up to us to pr prove that that didn't happen. Otherwise, that did happen. Yeah. That's how, that's how it works. And no. that's how Galileo figured it out. I, that's I how flat earth thinking works. Yeah, that's that's true. You, you just sort of make it up as it, if it sounds good to you, right? You you repeat it enough to where you think it's true. Now, there's nothing in the internet. I can't Google. Did Galileo look out his window? And determine the distance, right? That's not Googleable, and I won't give you a result because that's not what he did. It didn't happen. You want me to Google uh, a fantasy, right? It doesn't exist on the internet. There are uh, places you can go to read about how he did it. It's, it's fairly complex. It involves a lot more than looking. Uh, but um, can you explain I get, it? I get the feeling can that you, can you explain it to an utter retard. I like bet me? you he can. I, I mean, five dollars right now. He can't say what it is right now. The the honest Go answer ahead. is um, is is probably not. Tell oh. us. Oh my God! Push. Come on, boy. The facts. What is it? Zip How do they determine now. Venus? Go now before you Google it. Right. Say it. Uh, and and I don't <laughs> say that because I can't physically or any of these guys can physically now, now, do now, it. Now, 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 don't Google it. But no, um, how did he determine the distance? But because the the end result that we're going for is, is you having an understanding of it. Now right. waste my time oh, dealing with somebody. That words. I've been listening is, to you um, for fifteen minutes. You haven't said nothing of substance. You know shit about nothing. So you're okay with him making up what somebody did in the past and then having a problem? Or do you agree no, I don't with like him? Bullies like you. Every time I run across somebody like you, I want to belittle him. Okay, but but, so that you, ag you, you agree. agree. Yeah. Oh, buddy, you, you you're agree falling with, with for it. Party, you're turning right? into this moron. Don't belittle him. Praise him. That really fucks them up. 
Well, That's no, I, I see. <laughs> you're, right. Um, you're right about that. It, yeah. it sounds like you're agreeing with somebody who lied about the history of the world. Is, are, is that what Listen, that dude. His story, not his facts. When somebody his tells story. you somebody 200 years ago with a telescope couldn't find dick about Venus, then you're not a very smart man. But no, no, I just, I just want to make sure that, that we all know that you agree with this man here who is, is lying about the history of the world. You, you're no, okay I'm belittled. No, this is what's happening. I'm so you're, you're not okay with him lying about for it. For belittling him, this is what's happening right now. And I'm challenging you. All right, so you're, what do you you're, know about Venus? The gator for little what do you know about the Big Bang? What do you know about gravity? Let's Hold on. Why don't we you. stick to Venus for a second? I mean, you can look it up right now and see how he did it. The technique still works. You can do it yourself. Oh, motherfucker. Wait a minute. That's what what did point. Galileo the actually do about Venus? I can't is find anything that says he found the disc. last 20 minutes, he's trying to act smart. And I haven't heard one fact come out. Other of people did the distance Nothing. to Venus, not Galileo. Maybe that's your new name. Dude, dude, have you ever thought of changing your name? To factless this, this is the thing. This is the thing that I don't like. You know, we get stuck on. Oh, that's not the right person that did it. So you're wrong. No, who cares? I, you, the technique for measuring the distance of Venus is something you could easily do yourself. So it well, doesn't matter who did it. Or, doesn't matter when it was done in the history. Oh, doesn't matter what. It, okay, let's, it, let's, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Right? It doesn't matter what technique they use in the past because somewhere. you can do it right now. You can do it yourself, right? Wait, wait a minute. His point was that Galileo couldn't do it with his little telescope. But Galileo didn't do it with his little telescope. I don't care. None of that matters. Irrelevant. It doesn't matter for today, yeah. But if you're talking about history, then he's making he's going off a rock. Okay. Well, I, I, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about can you measure the distance or not? Yes or no. That's what matters. Yes, you can. The technique's very easy. You can do it yourself. It's, a, it's literally right triangles. I got a question if there's, if this is. Uh, was anyone on well yesterday? Be. Was anyone on yesterday? I, I brought up uh, some new discoveries in consciousness in the brain, neurons, and microtubules. Uh, was anyone currently on yesterday? When I, when I brought that up, uh, I think we're we're currently on um, Venus, the molecular alchemy. Uh, you can change the topic if everyone wants to. Well, I, I yeah. think well, I think if Se is asking the question and poets asking the question, and you just derail to something completely different, why would you do that? Are you conceding that you don't know how oh they feel? Dude, being I don't know. Know. Let me does this. Oh, does that see you want to go run away from the subject, which is proving that the start of astrology is is baseless? Go go talk about the sun. He said astrology oh, is based on Venus. Oh, you're gonna get fired from NASA, Holmes. Very bizarre molecular yeah. alchemy that you you <laughs> no just want paycheck in the middle of um, a Venus like discussion. You just want to change the subject. People claiming Galileo I mean, measured the distance to Venus provide a citation for us to look it up. So I was asking because somebody uh, linked something for me in the chat. You got you literally for an hour, which which I haven't been able to find. Okay, so again, oh, I, I, think, I, think, I think SC, SC has a point. He's saying the Gator is attacking party poet, uh, belittling him, and all SC wants to know is Kimo, now, why what, are you white knighting here? Well, obviously, we're trying to keep on topic, uh, Laurie. Yeah, we can't just jump around from one yeah, thing and... to the other, otherwise, we'll have no continuity, Kimo, right? Kimo, you're, you're being dishonest, though, because okay, this was on. just a question. This wouldn't necessarily have evolved to any, like, like the guys just trying to ask for something and all we know he might just shut up for the next 15 hours after he gets what he wants so you're not willing to uh, entertain him him for a minute because you're a troll Kimo. So That's a piece so, of shit act from yeah. you. Yeah, I mean, so I don't, Party Poet doesn't actually want to know. No, no, no not Party Poet Negator, SC wants to know. He was asking you what do you know about Venus and the distance and things like that. So ca carry on. Just try not to derail their molecular alchemy. Okay, SC okay, doesn't, so, he's not interested so in the information. Sorry, go ahead. That's, no, I appreciate it. No, I was asking uh, 
if anyone was on. And, and the various answers make it clear that, that nobody is on who was part of that conversation. And so my contribution is, is at an end. I was not attempting to derail or redirect. Uh, yeah, Kim was, to, Kim was just a piece of tit trolling there. Politely waiting for a pause to jump in. I'm sorry, I had to just sort of take things over. I, like I said, I, I don't believe party is interested in that information, nor do I believe SE is interested in that. No, party is interested in staying a liar and a jackass for as long as possible. I'm interested now, that's in actually that's actually is something that I would 15, believe from you. Part of the yeah. So if you actually told the people that party isn't a jackass or a liar, the whole you're going to get fired from NASA, Holmes. I mean, you right, party poet, um, the edge is right. We we don't. What I see all the time is the sort of thing that SE's been doing, which is, you know. What do you know about it? Tell me what you know about it. You're supposed to be truth seekers. You know, if, if you say something and somebody else says, actually, that's not true, something else is true, your reaction shouldn't be, no, it's not. It should be, oh, I hadn't heard that before. I'll go and look into it. You know, you're truth seekers, remember? That's what we're trying to find out right now. SE's asking that very question. He's saying, well, okay, negator, if their party's wrong, um, let's get it right. No. But is that the well, route to truth, really? You know? Well, I, I think the the secondary point to that is it's um, what what he's trying to achieve is a it's a QE tactic, right? That if I can't recite exactly how he did it from memory right, right this second, then my my side air quotes is uh, is wrong. It's right. a poor debate tactic, right? You like see, it wins you it. shallow you points. It. People like you. Make exactly. me sick, dude. Sick and that's what it's fucking... about. It's about scoring shallow points that are mean. Yeah, it's about scoring shallow points. That's, by the way, why when I was on Nathan's show, they asked me for the radius of Earth, and I wouldn't give it to them because I knew if I made a single error on one one or another, they would call me a piece of shit liar because I didn't know it by heart. And they call me a piece of shit liar because I didn't say it out loud. Right. By the way, is it thirty nine so fifty nine or thirty fifty nine? Yeah. Which one was it? Yeah. I guess it depends on if you're standing on a hill or not. It also oh, depends on if you're what latitude you're at. How how green the weed and was. It, that which morning? direction you're measuring, or if you want the average. How green the weed was that morning. You can smoke, dude. Like that's totally cool, but just don't. You know, drop oh, the, Jim, the ego, kudos, right? Kudos, by the way, for uh, for going on Ranty show. Oh, thank you. I lost our respect for you, Jim. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just balancing that out real quick. <laughs> also, hello, everybody. It's good to see you, Nigeria. Look at me. Oh, nice. No, well, I'm still here. I'm waiting to be enlightened on well, Godfather there looking at Venus. But the thing is, yeah, when Venus you speak boy, about that, let's, let's you do so with, uh, come on. with sarcasm and disdain, Venus. just sort of right. drooping Please. from, uh, you know, no, from no, your words, right? All, I come, come on, in, I want to know. If about I walk Venus. up to a person and say, you are a lying sack of shit, I do not say that for an hours on end. I actually provide some facts. Try to well, here's a fact. Uh, Galileo is known for exactly one thing with regards to his observations of Venus, and that's that he discovered that Venus had phases. That's it. I'm still waiting uh, for the same. Didn't he also see the moon? Oh, wow, I didn't know that. That's, uh, quite he interesting. discovered the phases of Venus. Wow. Interesting. <laughs> well, it's too <laughs> I wonder how you. I wonder how you guys explain, explain the fact that the inner planets have phases. And the outer planets don't, from our point of view. Why would Can you that... explain how three planets are spinning backwards? It's only one. Yeah, yeah. how about that one? <laughs> so one planet that's I spinning can't, I can't, there are various hypotheses on that, but no, I can't explain it. Oh my god, no. 
I can't believe you. But said didn't that. they all fly out of the wow. sun? Why can't you believe I said that? You honestly think I know everything there is to know? <laughs> Well, I can give you all the questions you should look at, like three planets spin backwards, Halley's Comet is moving backwards to well, your I think it's different Earth reasons. rotation. I, I think it's different reasons for each, probably. Is it three? Isn't it? What planets is it? Is it? Is it? Oh, it's only Venus, Venus, Venus and Uranus, is it? Can't remember. Uranus is on its side. That's not really yeah, bad. Yeah, there you go. So if you think about what that, if you think about that, like Venus spins extremely slow, and it spins the wrong way. So that's not that bizarre. If it was spinning any more slow, it wouldn't be going the wrong way. It would just be going Person, not at all. Do you know what we're talking so, about? Do you know what the well, subject one, is? Right. One explanation is that it's the result of tidal locking, and that at, at one point it was spinning in the oh. other direction, and at over time, it's gradually slowed down and then to the point where it started spinning the other way. That's one idea. Tidal locking mean there's water somewhere out there. Well, it's the uh, same. No, the tidal forces are, don't require a liquid. No. Oh, okay. There's in the tides in solid ground. So they're only a couple centimeters, but it's still there. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah. Imagine a collision that, even though Venus doesn't have any moons, it could have, when it, when it was created, like the moon that that um, hit Earth, that the planet that hit Earth that created the moon, supposedly, um, it caused the rotation to spin faster. But you imagine if it would have hit it in such a, in a different way, it could have slowed the rotation down. And so that it could it could have been something like that with Venus. Like whatever rocks collided to form it, it could have hit it in such a way that it, um, you know, it changed its, or it changed its rotation drastically. Dude, that's it. It was spinning the right way, and then a whole bunch of asteroids smashed into it. Turned it around. Love it. it that. We don't know, do we? It is, we, it is what, what it's observed to be, right? I mean, if it's, it's being faked, a light in the sky. If, it's what else? Faked, if it's being faked, why didn't they just have them all spinning the same way? It's not about fate, Jem. As long but as what we is say we're about speculating, well, where does as this long as we that? say that we're speculating, we can do it all day long. We're not speculating. What's this? We One of the planets spin... rotation from Earth. We're not, it's not speculation. Do they spin in the opposite direction? Is is that what we're talking about? One spins in the opposite direction to the rest. <laughs> Three yeah, of them. Yeah, Venus. Spins Three of them the, spin in the, in the opposite. Well, direction. I didn't know that. All right. That's what are the other two that you're thinking of? <clears throat> Here's the problem. This came from a YouTube video. Well, what are the other we two that you're thinking of? I only know that I watched a YouTube video that said that. And I'm like, hey, that sounds cool. Just like... But you don't actually you know me, which planets are supposed to be spinning the well, other way. I know, I, know, I know that Venus is one of them because it, it's, you know, the, the three planets that you have to know as oh. far as satanic... Well, heard, bro. How are they yeah, spinning right. the other way? Venus and Uranus, like I said. Uranus is on its side. Uranus is on its side. How are they spinning? If you've got a Big Bang, how are they spinning in the opposite direction? Nothing to do with the Big Bang. They weren't thrown out from the Big Bang. That's what Kent Hovind told you. I thought oh. that idea of they were all spinning the right way, and then a bunch of asteroids mm. hit three of them. And turned them around. If you're going to keep saying three of them, I'm going to keep asking you what the other two no, are. I don't know if it's three of them. Oh, is this you. true? I, mean, I need. To, is this true or not? Are they spinning in the opposite direction or not? Plan. Party, come on. I need to answer. God, if is I this... have to Google this just because you're that lazy. Probably um, talking about how he's probably not saying that. He probably, whatever he heard from years ago, which he doesn't even remember, um, was probably that Venus spins the wrong way. Uranus is on its side, its axis is, and that Pluto's. Um, got a completely uh it's on a different plane completely so it's probably just like those three how they're how they're way different in the other orbits but I, you know there's not three there's not three planets that rotate the opposite what's the explanation Kosho, for them going the other way he said there's no there's no there's not gonna be a factual explanation like one that uh you can narrow down but there's a lot of obvious um possibilities like Why the one i named give me one yeah. in the i said that like, the same way that our moon supposedly there was a, a planet-sized the collision and it smashed into our planet creating the moon also um, sped up the rotation of the earth so the same collision could have happened and hit a different um, side of the earth it would have slowed the rotation down and so venus could i mean it could be the um it could be the result of several collisions uh -huh. that, hit us, that hit such a way that just turned the rotation down or slowed it down and then um, made it go the other direction
Yeah, so uh, just to clear up, you're saying that it was spinning in the same way as all the other planets, and then I, I'm not saying anything was doing anything. I'm saying that's these are possibilities. Yeah, one possibility is that it was spinning in one direction, an asteroid hit it and made it spin the other direction. And it was an asteroid. Yeah, an asteroid. So I a planet-sized collision that hit the Earth. Which yes, is the... yes, yes. Another body hit the uh, hit Venus and and caused it to rotate the other way. Possible or slowed its rotation down, and then it's got like a. I think Jem said about the um, tidal tidal locking. It could be several things. All that, right, so let's um, look at this. Positive. If an Earth-sized thing is, it's an anomalous it's an anomalous occurrence, so oh, it's no, not really look. If the if an Earth-sized Earth hit this Earth. What do you think would happen? Would it would it smash this Earth or spin it the other way? Depends on how it hit it. Depends on how it hit it. What if you're saying if it skimmed if it skimmed the Earth, it would spin it the other way? Could depends on what <laughs> angle it hits. Oh at. my god! Hey, that works because that would also cool the planet down. Because you have this problem where it was really hot and. There's absolutely no reason to but have all Koso, the water. We don't have. you think they'd be able to trace that planet that hit Venus? It's obviously at somewhere now in the cosmos, yeah? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So whenever Scott Venus are probably Scott. part of Venus now. Yeah, the the only way to do that, you'd have to do a, a pretty in depth investigation. Like to just to learn more about the moon or the moon's origins, you had to go to the moon and you had to trace the uh, bring back rocks and compare them with the rocks here. And the you know the, the makeup of the moon, the makeup of the Earth, that kind of stuff. And it's only a hypothesis, but it's a fairly. Um, you think that's a good hypothesis, yeah? yeah? It's a good hypothesis for the one on Earth. The one on Earth is because it's like the, the, it makes sense the way they describe it, and it's not impossible that something similar could happen on Venus. What have I'm you the seen, only have you... that has any evidence. I'm saying that this is a very um, fair, uh, a very good possibility. <laughs> Kosher, you should learn. It's our guess, but it's the it's best guess we got. Man. I mean, that's pretty much it. Yeah, as but it, except it's not guess, strictly a. Right. Um, but if we said it's, something, it's not right, a guess. Oh, no, let SE speak because he hasn't said anything. All right, it, let let we should make sure that that y'all understand it. It's not Go simply next, a guess. Yes. There's there are reasons to believe that, right? No, no, it's just a guess. Oh, so Straight like out guess. I could guess that flying cows did it too, kind of like okay, that. Okay, I'll give you an example if you hmm. give me a chance. Well, I mean, why would I? Why would I do that when you're clearly <laughs> just being dishonest, right? You're just being dishonest. Mm, maybe because you are. Dude, you got to get used to it. Uh, the now, moment... coming from him, I, I I could understand. But from you, dude, you're calling me dishonest? That's oh, yeah. for... No, I said you have to get used yeah, to it. That's all go for it, Essie. Don't, don't worry. It's just what they're like. Just go for it. Just uh, fuck you Okay. Out. If you were in front of me and you called me dishonest, <laughs> you you wouldn't like it. But anyways, uh, you let's sure? just pretend we can make that, that happen. happen. What would happen? Yeah. If you called me dishonest in front of my face. Uh huh. What do you think? You tell me, man. First of so, all, you're the keyboard first warrior. First of all, you little pussy. You probably wouldn't have the balls to do that. Number one. <laughs> okay. That's that's the first thing because you sound like a gamma male. Uh, number two. Go, go ahead. You, you would you would find out. What but would anyways, happen? No, you tell me, man. Tell the crowd. <laughs> I'd buy you a beer. You buy, okay, buy you a beer. I'll, I'll take that, because that's about the worst and thing you'd be able to do. Wouldn't a game of MLP be like... Wouldn't the game of MLP be Incredible Hulk? That's a good point, man. That's, a, <laughs> that point. Point. that's the lamest bullshit, that, the lamest insult that people have thrown around lately. Game of Mail. So now, let me give you an example, Okay. The story that they gave, they gave us, what you were talking about, the moon before, and the earth, this is the fantasy story. This is why I laugh at you guys, the stuff that you buy. They say that a planet-sized planet hit the earth. They even have a name for it. The name was Thera. Now, that planet hit earth, and they both became molten balls of lava. They separated, and one became earth. And the other one became the moon. Then the earth and the moon solidified from lava. Now, keep in mind, there wasn't a living thing possible on that earth planet. Then, magically, magically, all the water appeared from the sky. 
And then life started. This is the fucking story that you clowns believe. No, That's why I laugh at isn't, you isn't, There's <laughs> absolutely no magic in anything that we believe. That just isn't true. However, <laughs> you do believe in magical water coming from the sky, I imagine. It's in the Bible, right? Jim, that wasn't directed at you. I respect you and other people. It's those two, three clowns that I was talking with. That yeah, all evidence supports. You. All evidence supports what you just claimed was it was a bizarre thing. And you believe in buoyancy, what, so what believing evidence? the water coming to the surface what, what is not that evidence? weird. But yeah, the evidence being that we have a very strong magnetic field, a stronger than than um, than like Mars, for example, and that the moon's contents and the earth's contents. So basically you can tell the reason why they believe this collision happened is because the contents of the moon seem to be made up of, you know, mostly the stuff that would have been on our surface or the, um, the outer layer or whatever. And we have gained, we have a, a bigger iron core than, um, than, you know, that's proportionate basically. Like it's, it's the, the proportions that suggest exactly that um, hypothesis. Dude, when you talk, do you listen to the words that come out of your mouth, or you just say? say That's what I said. I know I was kind of stuttering or whatever, but yeah, the contents of the Earth are more so that um, it was like if it was a collision, the contents of the other um, object, the core, added up with our core. The surface, which would turn into the Moon, um, looks like it came from both the surface of that thing and our surface. So we have a bigger proportion, a higher proportion of the iron core than um, would seem would seem uh, to be likely. Yeah. And you yeah, find this strong, plausible? Well, that's yeah, why we're strong, uh, that's why we're field. that's why we're rel we, we are relentless, SC. I mean, this is what they tell us, and we're like, is this? Uh, you actually believe what? So this is why we're we're you know we're active. We're constantly um, raising the awareness, going to schools, as you've seen, telling children, telling young people. Hey, Timo, why don't you stay on topic and talk about the topic rather than yourself? No, because I'm saying that Essie's saying that, do you really believe this? And I'm saying, well, this is why we're so... And now you're talking about yourself. Why we're so How persistent. How many scientific papers have you read, Kima, on this subject? <sighs> no, it's not about Kima. He says that all the time, too. No, yeah. no, it's not about me. I'm just saying. I'm just. I'm just uh, reiterating why with SC here because he's saying this is he just isn't insane. He's trying to learn how many scientific papers. Same with SC. How many scientific papers on astronomy have you read? Oh, have I read? Uh, I mean, I've looked at some papers, but really, did I say it? anything wrong? Uh, are you questioning my knowledge of what I just said? Why are you Why are you uh, miles, questioning uh, the papers that I read or what well, I've done? Why, why are you responding to my suggestion? Excuse me. Why don't you respond to what I suggested about the why the evidence looks that way? That's consistent with that. The contents of the moon, the contents of the Earth's crust, and Earth's uh, I did, inner I core, did and stuff like that. It's consistent yeah. with that idea. Yeah, I did answer you. I asked you what evidence you said. We'd have to go to the moon coast to evidence. verify that, right? You asked what evidence. He told you, and then Kimo started talking about himself. Yeah, but Ed it sounded a lot like a made-up story because no. you know the Edgar, Edgar you... Mitchell and Apollo sixteen. Their mission was to collect rocks to um uh, for, for that. That was one of the, their missions. I mean, um, for this type of investigation to find the origins of the Earth, the age of the Earth. How many of the they, rocks were proven what fake? What evidence are you talking about? Were any of the rocks proven fake? Zero of them. Yeah, that would be interesting, Kosher. If the rocks from the moon had the same compounds here on Earth, um, yeah, you could uh, have an argument. But number one, you can't go to the moon. Number two, it's just a light in the sky. And number three, uh, it's just a disk. So it's not a, a ball that you can land on, and that's dusty, like how they describe it. So We it don't to... know what it is. It could be a ball. It could be a disc. We but, don't know what it is. I mean, how would you know what it is? You have to go there to find out. And once, you like... go... wait, wait, wait. Once, once you get there, what happens that you know what it is? You can take Are you guys you can take samples. We can no, tell no, it's wait, not wait. a disc just by looking at it. Right, that's that's the point that I'm getting at. When you go there and you stand on it, what do you do to take know sample. what it is? You take some. I'm gonna scratch my ass and take a whip. And you know, then like, what else? You know, like how how they test uh, cocaine in that um, with that blue. How did that happen?
if it's blue, it's strong cocaine. So obviously, if the dust on there turns a particular color, it will tell them what uh, they're dealing uh, with. Right, right. My, my, my point is that you look at it. Whether you're uh -oh. taking samples, you're and looking at the samples. Zero facts is about right. to provide a point. You videotape it too. The, the, so the argument that looking at it doesn't tell you anything is nonsense. Because that's the oh, only way you know God. anything oh. about it is by looking oh, thank at it. You. Right? Thank Whether you. you're thank standing you. right next to it or 240,000 miles from it. Oh, thank you. For a minute right? there, I was so worried you were going to provide a fact and ruin your perfect record. Which, I, I mean, is more looking about at something this. not a good way to understand things about it? No, or, no, no. Am I wrong no. there? No, so I was sh scared. Should we not look at things? I was shitting my pants for a second when you said, I am going to provide facts. I'm going, <laughs> oh, you're a facts fan, and you're, you're interrupting him to say nonsense. I don't know if like you noticed this. Now, I'm the same, though, because I'm always thinking, if these guys ever pull out an actual fact, we are we are finished, right? If they ever prove that they're, we're on a ball with an actual demonstration, an actual measurement, Wait. we're done for. So we would be but how, how do you country. do any of that without looking at it? So that seems to be the point of contention here is that looking at it isn't enough when that's the only way to learn anything about anything is to look do it in a half an hour you haven't said anything anything well the the folks that um say something the other folks in this channel have um extra hang on hang on, on let hold me explain on. to him how you guys get paid a little bit see he has to fill out a report at the end of the day and oh. on it it will say how many facts did you provide about anything? Okay. He can put down clearly zero. And this you is nonsense, man. <laughs> How should I let it's not Maybe he gets paid point. by word, bro. Did you ever think no, of that? No, no, no. No, he speak. has to be here for 10 hours, put his input in, zero facts. Maybe he can, you know, kind of like, you know, kind of like bait you a little bit and say, I will talk about facts right now. But then you'll all right. You keep Here's a fact, hour. dude. So you see Slacker's GIF, the libration GIF he just posted while you guys were talking about nothing for whatever a minute or whatever. Right. Have you seen hey, uh, sl uh, Slacker's? Was there an incident? Have you seen Slacker's GIF today? Yeah, yeah right. Have you seen Slacker's GIF? Because all I see is the light showing up. Have you seen Slacker's GIF? The libration GIF. Vibration of the moon. It shows it in uh, different... Oh, right, uh, yeah, it's like this picture. But you don't see any more than that of the moon. I was just about to say that when you posted it. You only see that much of the moon all the time. So the bot when you look at the bottom the top... From Earth, yeah. The bottom there... You see more than is, half of the sphere. That's the maximum you will ever see the bottom. And what when it comes down to the top, that's the maximum that you'll ever see the top there. Yes. From Earth, yes. Which no, is more than half of the sphere. any time ever. That's all you ever see of the moon ever. No, from, from Earth. All right, show, show more. more. Where's the backside of the moon? Then? Let's have a look. You've seen it before. What? Really backside really of the moon? We've never seen the backside of the moon. <clears throat> well, on the Apollo missions, they flew all the way around the moon multiple times and photographed all of it. So, and filmed it. So there's loads of it. <clears throat> um... Well, we'd have to verify, um, you know. The Robert, Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter has we were, mapped the whole of it. We were talking there about... Is a Chinese, you know, there is a what? Chinese mission on the far side of the moon at the moment. No, 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 we don't believe that. Maybe you can explain this, Gem. So, no, no, no. How do you explain the rocket? So how does it work? The rocket leaves the Earth, goes around the ball... And so we're then... changing the topic now. Oh, okay, let's go back to the other way. The, re the reason for the picture was that it's clearly not a disc. No, that shows it is a disc. Is that no, all you see? The wobbling and the perspective change when it wobbles means it's not flat. No, no, no. That's the light that you're looking at. Light, remember? Well, yes. Light is the only way we can see. The, the light, light from is the moon reflected is my eyes. from something. What is the light reflected from? That's the moon. Yeah. Now the light, the sun makes the moon. Sorry, makes its own light. Emits its own light. Uh, evidence. Yeah. Well, even if that were true, we have evidence. We have yes, we have. Well, wait a minute. We'll get. Evidence. Evidence. Of course, Let, we have evidence. Let's ignore where the light comes from for the moment. 
whether it's reflected you or have evidence, Miles. Just hold tight. It's still wobbling in a way that makes it obvious that it's not a disc. No, 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 no. That's no, just... Just... Oh, to say it more clearly, um, not that that wasn't clear this like, or I'm just, I mean, to, to hit the sure. point through. Um, if you look at the libration image, which I have um, blown up now, you can look at some of the craters, like on the, um, the left side, for instance, and a crater that at one moment in the picture is going to be at the very edge of the circle or the disc, as you're describing, is later going to be uh, far away to now there's like five or six craters in between that crater and the edge. So you're seeing, obviously, more of this disc, Mm -hmm. of something that was an edge of the disc, which now has a, a, a you know more of a side of it. And same thing with the per perspective change. It's clearly evident it's a sphere. Why would it be a sphere, a board? What kind of design would design it like a, a disco board? I don't care where it came from. I'm just looking at how it is now. It makes Gravity. more sense to be flat. Yeah. Where it came from doesn't matter to looking at it now. But, I mean, unless, until we go to the moon, as again, long as our... we don't have to tell you how it happened, we will tell no, you. We can everything. get to that later. Right now, we're just looking at how it is now. But yeah. What, what we need is, is in our on... generation a moon mission. Uh, unless we see the moon mission in our lifetime, in our generation, uh, it can be verified with the P1900 and so on. It's going to be a hard time convincing. What do you mean verified with a P1000? What do you expect to do with that camera? People will track it. They rock it, right? Fly. That camera is inadequate for seeing something that small that far away. No, no, no. They can zoom right in on the moon with the P1000. Right in. Right. You, can see, you can see 20, 30, 50 kilometer wide craters all right. They'll look kind of small and fuzzy. You can see the stars. But you're not, not gonna, the stars. you're not going to see something a few feet across. Yeah, but the stars are further than the moon. And you can zoom right yeah, in on a star. They're... Yeah? But you still don't see anything more than no. an unfocused point source. He's trolling you. Come on. I, I was it. pointing a P1000 at the moon to um, I would not expect to be able to see a rocket. I certainly can't see the Apollo landing site. Holy shit! With a ninety, with a ninety times zoom, you can see a quarter of a million miles away. Fuck! Really big things. things. That is really cool tech, eh? Yeah. Well, yeah. your eyeballs can see the larger craters. Yeah. Tiny yeah, eyeballs can see the moon. Wait, wait, wait. My eyeballs that have a distance wow. of, what, five miles at best can see craters on the moon a quarter of a million miles you can away? Only, you can only see right. things five miles away with your eyes, <laughs> did you say? You've got to be trolling. Man. This, this is, is what optometrists are for. Get a grip. <laughs> Let's stick to actual... No, I have, I have this absolute... Negator, you Troll. should come in here with some facts now. Like, All right, the Tahe Crater. up a bit. What's that crater called? The Tahe Crater? Tycho. Tycho Crater. Tycho Crater. Tycho Tycho crater. Tycho Tycho crater. Tycho however you're supposed to pronounce it. Right. The Tycho Crater is, um, I think, 50, 50 miles or something like that wide. If you do the math, it's, it's, about, it's about the angular resolution of the eye. So, um, like, if you, if you simply... Like, if you think about the things you're saying, they're, they're oh, well okay. within... So hang um, on, hang on, Let, just to get this straight. I can't see a fucking plane five miles up, but it's a little tiny plane. But a yeah, crater, part, that's a why, that's why a million have, miles we, away... We need to exist in the I, same conversation, man, because when you address the things I'm saying, because I'm saying them specifically so that you don't say things like that, but oh, you're, not, you're not listening to this no point. I said path. that... Can you without actually prove you're saying admit to something that I'm telling you? I'm telling you it's a ball. I see craters, so therefore you've got to go along with my narrative. And we're like, well, let's, what? Let's try. Let's try. Let's try this then, um, oh. both you guys, because um, it's not complicated. I said the size of the crater, and then I said yeah, that it's within the angular it's a, look, resolution. You know it's a the angular first? resolution of the eye. That okay. was the main point. Okay. That's how you make that determination. Kosho, have Kosho, you ever just seen... a little bit smaller, but Kosho, the bright ejector Have you ever seen, have you ever seen an asteroid to... hit the moon? Ever? Ever? Have I you have ever seen been, anything? In a video, yeah. They don't have to anymore. They did their job billions of years ago. 
No, no, but I'm saying for him to say it's a crater, how do you know it's that? Why does he keep repeating it like it's a fact? I have seen that, yes. Show me, show me, Kosher. Show me someone that hitting the moon. Oh, no, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. You're asking for things Baltards really stay away from. No, show sure. me is a bad word. So when you say things like this, Kosher, oh, pay attention to what I'm telling you, that it's a crater, because we know it's a crater, and something hit it. And I'm like, well, how do we know that? Have you ever seen anything Once hit again. the moon? That wasn't the important part of what I said. Well, the part I want you to pay attention to. The part I want you to pay attention to was the angular oh. resolution. That's how you make that determination. Right. Whether you're talking about a camera or your eye, you find out what the angular resolution is, and you find out what the distance and size of the of the thing is, and then you can make comments like you just made, party poet, to see. Oh wow, this is crazy. You can see this. You see this. No, you you can make these determinations with simple calculations. Now hold on for that for that. Uh, so you're saying my eyes can see a quarter of a million miles away. I can see things a lot further away, provided that they're bright enough. Uh, yeah, like ninety-three million miles. No, right? Guys, why are you even entertaining this? No one is that dumb. No, the reason no why we're entertaining no this is because the understand. Gator came in here saying, "Oh, party, you're completely wrong. You don't know what you're talking about." And then when we asked him, "How then? What? How do you do it?" He went silent, and now we're here, sounding. No, 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 no. I came in here, in part, and I was called a liar and a sack of shit and a dumb fuck. Right. The usual. The usual party poet stuff. And then I asked, well, why is it I lied? Not a single shred of proof there. When did I lie? Not a single shred of proof. When was I a dumb fuck? Oh, I argued with the Baltards. Clearly a dumb fuck. Clearly. Hey, I love you anyway. Marty, you're the man. You're the man, bro. Right. That's why, soundly, we find ourselves in this position. Because, again, asking a asking very simple question leads into something, something else. Why are we in this position now? We're asking about well, Venus. Because we started with Venus. Yeah, exactly. We're asking about well, Venus. Well, we very, I mean, uh, uh, to be honest, uh, People give you very simple answers, and you just they haven't given us any answers. You actively, you actively avoid the answers, and we'll you actively be given any answers to, yet. to understand them. We're still asking. We're ask. asking the question. We're saying, okay, negator. If we're wrong, how did they do it? No answers. Nothing. How did who do what? You tell me what you're trying to ask. Right. Venus. We go back oh, again. Tell us how Galileo looked at Venus. Right. Go back, poet. Explain to soundly what we need. Well, Essie, you, can, Essie, you can take over if you want. I'm going to ask Soundly a question very quickly. I'll only take 20 seconds, uh, five seconds, and he'll answer in two seconds, probably. But uh, Soundly, um, when you took those observations of the lunar eclipse, um, did, was it you who cap did you capture the meteor that hit it? Because I remember either you or Kaiser did. I didn't capture it. Kaiser captured it, but so did, like, a shit ton of people on the internet. It's, like, all over the internet. <clears throat> But the real question is, how did you capture it since the moon isn't a physical object? Well, it's just light, isn't it? Really? So... Yeah, it's like, a, it's like a lamp up there, and it, it dims and brightens and hides some of itself whenever it feels like Let's call it a signpost. It would be so cool. It's, it's just light. a lesser light, oh, isn't it, for the night? Signpost. Not that big of a what deal. Do you mean, what do you mean by signpost? Emo, who's controlling the light because it's But Sally, you should know this sound. that God made a lesser light for the night and a light. We went through the day about the light, so uh, you know, I don't understand why you disagree with any of all of that. Well, you know what's interesting about a signpost, a stop signpost? So I go down it, would, it would go good with the Twilight Zone opening, that's all. I mean, I'm going to need, I'm gonna need a little bit more of an explanation of what you're even talking about before I can say whether or not I agree with it. I have no idea if someone. No, I don't want to get religion now. So in, you're asking Baltars to show you, and then it's the same thing as asking for reality. They don't exist in their world. Don't so ask just, them to so show just, anything. So listen, I last time you said that. You something to me, and you, you just totally ignored me. You, you, you call no, us no. Baltars, right? So, um... Well, they hate, oh, that, they, they hate that party. Okay, last time, they, let's, let's go ahead. last time you said that, party poet, 
we posted the fucking images. Of what? Said we don't post images. We posted a bunch of shit about asteroids hitting the moon, man. Like several people did. I didn't give a fuck about the moon, personally. Yeah, but you said that same comment when we said that. And Kimo asked for that. You said, asking Baltards for, for that is all I live. And then you yep. said, said the same thing again. And evidence was given, and what? They ultimately denied it. What evidence? He just the pictures on the videos. <laughs> fuck me. Oh, you got a video of someone hitting the moon? Have a look at it. Yes, several of them. Yeah. All right, all right. Let's have a look. Which video? Show me evidence here, oh, yes. which, oh, one? which one? Which one? The one I the GIF I posted shows two of them. Oh, that's... Show me evidence here, just show me evidence. All right, all right. Um... Asteroids hitting the only non-physical light-giving source. No, hold on. How do we yeah. know um, what what is uh, actually happening in this gift kosher? How do we know that that's an asteroid? How yeah, how do you know any of those things? It's just a light. Oh, we see God. light. Kimo! Kimo, how do you because, know the other day? Because no, the telescope no, 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 no. took Kosho, a closer Kosho, look Kosho, and found Kosho. a crater there that wasn't there before. No, Kosho, you know how a comet will hit the Earth? It can be tracked through the sky. To show something being tracked through the sky and then hitting the moon. Goalpost go move. No, 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 no. Stop trying to deceive me. If it's really hitting the moon, we should. The telescope should have seen that coming from miles away. You, you know, they predict, oh, no. asteroid will hit the Earth. It was going to miss the Earth because they've been watching the skies for a long time. Most asteroids they can't see, actually. What do you mean? We just yeah. saw it hit the moon. We just saw it. You'll see it. We just Imo, saw it. Imo, right? did you take into account the, si the size of the asteroid that's hitting the moon? Uh, no, I just want to know, did you, can you track it? Take into the account side? that we can't, they don't have an atmosphere. We can calculate it based on the impact. Yeah, yeah but you want to be able yeah. to track it through the sky is what I mean. No, 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 no that's reality. reality. We do not do reality in <laughs> ball world. <laughs> we, simply, we simply take evidence, misconstrued it as much as possible, to present you the pretty ball. Yes, the Do not right ask there. for any reality again. Hmm. It's shown reality it's says it's not reality. Well, because all you do is disparage us when we do offer please, evidence. Uh, say, please, I'm waiting for my fucking Venus. What, what do you mean you're waiting for Venus? Waiting for Venus I'm waiting for Venus. you to tell me how Galileo looked at Venus. He looked at Venus with a telescope. Okay, what did he do about it? He looked at it. Okay. Oh, he, he, write down the, it? he noticed did it. Did he write down the distance to it? Nope. Nope. Oh, okay. Did he write down the temperature on it? Nope. Oh. Do telescopes okay. give this information to you? Nope. Nope. So why <laughs> are you asking? Because, because that's what he remembered, misremembered something about the Galileo space probe. No, it wasn't the space probe. He so when did they discover the distance? Out. So when did they actually discover or confirm the distance to Venus? When was that? Roughly. The 1700s sometime. Wait, they discovered the distance to Venus in the 1700s? No, I think that they did that when they did that transit thing. And they used the relationship of the uh, planets and their sizes and distances and stuff. What could you explain? Can they you assume explain? the relationship and the sizes. Let's get that clear. Uh, okay. The way it worked is they worked out the ratios of the orbits of the planets before they had a actual accurate yeah, distance. But Slacker, did they assume? Oh. Using the of Venus, uh, like using the the of Venus, they got an accurate distance to the sun, which let them fill in the exact orbit of the Earth. And because they had the ratios for the other planets that let them fill in those distances. Wait, 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 wait. Can you start out with where they actually put one single number down on a piece of paper that was confirmed by anything before you uh, start as far talking as confirmation, about it? They, they took a look they... at this, and they looked at that, and then they pulled okay. out a number yeah. out of their ass. They measured the shadows. Yeah. No. If you want act, something that could be considered actual confirmation and not just a second or third level calculation of something else, then when they radar range Venus, that's about as direct as you're going to get. 
Do you mind, Slacker, could you describe no, again? Just... They had a radar in the 1700s? No, what do you No, this would be later. You asked for something direct. That's as direct as you're going to well, get. Well, no, they put a well, number down in the 1700s. Don't even respond to that kind of question. They? Come on, Kosha. Do you not know that stellar parallel? We're on a river, thing? right? We want float. Let's go. No, but they did put numbers down in the 1700s. Didn't yeah, he they? described that, that how they did that. He just described that. Can you tell me how they got the first number? Not all the other bullshit based on the. They program. worked out the geometry of the orbits, which gave you the ratio of the differences between all the orbits. Okay, so, so that I once you had an act, so that once you had an accurate number for any one of them, you could calculate out the rest of them. Hang and on, they got an accurate hang on, number that's for Earth's beauty. orbit. Wait, whoa, stop, stop. The accurate number for one of them. Yes, and they got oh, one of them when they go, made the go, calculations go, for the me. Earth to the moon. Tell me, tell me, the accurate number for one of them. Tell me. Yes, yes, please. They got the distance for Earth to the sun when they did the calculation based off the transit of Venus. Ah, 93 million, 94 million miles. So, so here's the thing. From my house to Adam's house, is two thirds the distance than from my house to your house? How far is it to Kosho's house? You're gonna need a bit more <laughs> calculation <laughs> involved, which is what they were able to do when they had the transit of Venus. Well, no, this is this is called this is Wait, called the transient to Kosho. He's okay? not paying attention. Yeah. The Kosho transient. Capable I mean, of understanding. Are you unable? What he can do to Google? is chug urine. And sit there and chuckle. Oh, ad hominem. Oh, ad ad hom 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 yeah, but let Here's him sit. Yeah, but let him cancer, But let's fuck that over. But party, let, let's let, fuck let, it over. Go ahead. Yeah, go let, ahead. Let, Tell him how the free cure for cancer is bullshit. Nobody else can talk, Kimo. Oh, no. Let him speak, uh, party. Let him say his bit. Party, party quote, the answer to question 1639 by Johanna Kepler. 1629. That means for all of us, we have to. Uh, it comes part. It's part and parcel party. You know, we're flat earthers. I told, I told curved there every fucking time he tries putting down my P and make it sound bad. I will immediately blast out. It's the free cure for cancer. He went and blabbed. My P drinking is a bad idea or whatever it is, but sounds bad. So I blobbed out, hey, that's the free cure for cancer. And it tastes just like water. That's really hard to go understand. Ahead. Thanks for breaking it down. Keep insulting. Go ahead. Go on. Fuck's sake. Doing good. Free cure for cancer? I think you wanted to say something about Venus, how we're not paying attention or something, right? Curved? No? Well, no, he ad hominemed with the free cure for cancer. Oh. Okay. I think rocket scientist was trying to say something. <laughs> rocket we started right? out with. Yeah. If if my house is two thirds the distance to John's house, and it's only three quarters the distance to Bob's house, then the distance to Kosho's house should be obvious. The reason why that's an invalid uh, comparison is that's not that's what uh, that's not what Slackert said, man. He said that the relationships between all all of them. Okay. So you have to say the relationship between everyone's houses was known. Okay. okay, that would make it a, a fair, yeah, more fair no, comparison. Kosher, okay. you, ha you have the distance to the sun, yep. so now you can work out all the planets where they are based on one calculation. Yeah, is that what you're telling us? And we knew their relation. Their relate. What do you mean their relation? The ratio. We knew the ratio. Uh, the ratio. Oh, ratio. Relation to one I told you again. My house is two thirds the distance. How do you figure out anything based on fractions? Do you have the There's ratio? There's no numbers. Do you have the ratio to Coach yeah, it's 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 cool my, the here's the difference. How do you figure out anything based on fractions? It's that fucking Where the the Don't somebody said Power that they is. got the accurate number do to the moon based on all this bullshit. This, please. Party, please, please let Curve say his bit. I mean you'll get to say your bit right afterwards don't. anyway. Yeah. He just keeps repeating the same stupid nonsense after being corrected. He's incapable of understanding the conversation. Enjoy having him continually destroy it rather than talk about something else. But he can't understand this, or he refuses to. And we can't change that. Well, yeah, well, you finished, yeah? You just refuse. I think what we're doing, though, is highlighting um, a lot of the errors that you guys try to sweep into the carpet, right? You try to say Venus is this, that, and the other. And then when we question what you on errors? it... Yeah. What errors are I mean, we talking about? Say that. You should have to say what error. 
No, no, I'm saying that a lot of these things go swept know, under the car. Whatever. It's that simple. Well, we're trying to figure out how you got the distance to these planets, and Party's doing a very good job yeah, asking listen, the questions, and he's also being a little bit sarcastic because he's realizing, well, sure. you guys are not really answering directly. How many times right? do you have to be told, and hmm? you still ask the question? I have a, I have a partial. Spurs, do you not, Spurs? Do you not know what stellar parallax is? Are you uh, kidding me? I mean, yeah, I mean, of course this is well understood, but again, it's just, um, you know, asking you guys how you know what you know, how you're achieving all these things, what you shouldn't have to, there's nothing to be afraid of, right? If it's true, you should be able to answer it. Well, you allow Rocket to get in I was just about to say, let Rocket Science get in now, yeah. I just want to say, Jeremiah Horrocks made the, made the first observation of the transit of Venus in 1639 and made the first estimate of the distance to Venus. It's, put, it's in the Wikipedia article, Transit of Venus. And the only reason I, I looked it up is because I was curious, so I thought I would share. Not that I'm trying to help Party Pull at all. But you just said he just made an estimate. How did he make that estimate? What's the detail? Again. The rest know. is up for you to use your fucking Google ability to find out. You How keep doing this every you single time, Matthew. The problem is, you live in the shitty part of Canada, which is why you have to be in such an idiot in the first place. Well, we're looking for the... Uh, I, well, I, I gave you the dude, trail. I Go follow it and get the answer. Ooh, yeah, but Rocket, triggered. we want... You're a rocket scientist. Actually, no, this is just me normal. No, the fact want... that SE always has to open his shit mouth and say things just annoys the crap. Well, look, can we... Entrance, entrance exam. Go suck on... Uh... You have to match the shape uh, of the blocks. Essie, go the suck on a beaver tail. The holes that the block goes through. You're a moron. I can't hear anybody, by the way. Nobody can be the heard, metal, by the way. First step towards weeding out some of this low IQ, stupid, deliberate fucking nonsense. And people oh. demand answers. That Thank, they you, curved. Thank you, Curved. Thank you. Curved. Curved. I have to take my hat off to you. You're a true Perfect. genius. You cannot possibly talk for longer than 10 seconds without throwing in an ad hominem. And for a second there, you went to the limit. It was like almost at 15 seconds. And I'm like, my God, is Curved losing it? What happened? But then you started ad hominem like you crazy. Guys. You don't even know what an ad hom is, you goddamn moron. And that's the Barney, answer to your question Barney, was posted you by Snake Oil. Like I think bitches, I just got ad hominem, but I'm too stupid to no, know. You didn't. I called you stupid. That's not an argument. It's a fact. Yes. Based on what? Evidence displayed by you. Oh, I know. See, that was, I told everybody, that was my first mistake. I actually started out anyway, with facts SD, and evidence. You don't understand these things. Why are you acting like you've got some kind of leg up on us here because you don't know shit? No, I just recently Not met you. Negator. Hang on. I recently met Negator, who's now my hero. And I Tell promise to in never, the, in the... ever again offer any facts or evidence. And I'm going to learn how Negator talks. Because he's doing a brilliant job. It's but been three hours, zero facts. My new hero. Thank you, Negator. I see. If you want to know how it was done, Snake Oil Salesman posted a link on how the transit of Venus was used to make that measurement. All right, I'm Snake Oil Salesman. Listen, Rocket Boy, I know how it's done. No, you, you don't. Got triggered because no, I've you got actually no. Because, I get annoyed, and you want to call triggered for whatever, but. You, you Rocket, room. Rocket, come room. on, Rocket. You're not being fair. You hold on, Essie. Rocket, you've got to let him finish. Yeah, Essie, go ahead. He Sorry. asked for how it was done, and I posted it. And now he's saying, I know how it was done. So, then why would you ask how it was done to begin with? You're missing the point here. You're missing the point. You got triggered. You guys got triggered because Party was asking you guys, How did you figure the size? And you didn't want to say the truth, which was. You assumed one of those sizes. That's and what what's wrong with that, dude? Rocket no, board. no, what's no. Wrong with that? Party <laughs> said they pulled it out Nothing of their ass. Say, it dude. wasn't even an assumption. You're busted. There are assumptions made in scientific measurements and experiments all the time. All what is your time. point of this? There's nobody here who's going to say busted, that, that that's you false. You just admitted it was an assumption, so. Anything else you say, maybe you want to make fun of the part of Canada I'm from? Maybe you want to do that? I'm in Toronto. That's evident. You're in Quebec. 
Where the are you point from, is, is but what is, what's the big deal about using an assumption in an experiment or calling an observation? Calling it a fact. That's the problem. The scientific method. Exactly. It a fact. You're making fun of party, but party's right. And you got triggered, dude, and you started making fun, and you started making ad homs. That's what happened. Yeah, sky is blue. But answer my question. What's the problem with using an assumption within the scientific method? Okay, the sky is blue. And the temperature on Venus right now is 34 degrees. And you can't have your ticket, your money back if your trip is canceled. See, you see the problem with the assumptions. It's ridiculous. You can't start a scientific thing with an assumption. I mean, every other calculation a lot after of them that do. is wrong, dude. Come on. All of them do. That's why I test. That's why there's a test in the first place, man. If, if, then, if nothing was an assumption, there'd be no tests. There'd whoa, be no need whoa, whoa, whoa. Kosho, like you guys are making sense. one thing. Calling them a fucking fact is when... Name assumption... one assumption that's called a fact. How did you put is a one cloud. single number down on a piece of paper that was called distance to any fucking planet based on anything? I am, waiting, that I am waiting for that. The first actual number... This is the legitimate distance to this planet or our moon, whatever you want, based on because the sun is over there and Venus is over here. And when we do that, Mars is way back there. Stop, Pluto stop, 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 stop. Way stop. over there. Okay, let him that finish, distance. man. Come on. on for too long, man. Your distance to the moon. Oh, How do you yeah. do this? Incoherent. How do you do this? Man. And then take the apart. Stop. 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 How do you dare? Kosho, how do you guys dare do this how to us? Is it all apart our Isle of Man three bro. ways from fucking He's not Sunday. even saying anything valid, it's true, worthwhile, nothing. Just answer the simple question, man. It's a simple hey, question. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You stop for me. Your, Listen, I'm asking a name for me a fact. That, that name for me an assumption that is stated as a, as a fact. Okay? Go ahead. It's the 1600s, Kosho. Tell me how they fucking, figured out the this distance part where you to any to fucking answer. planet. Pick one. So when Venus was uh, uh, measured in the, the orbit of uh, Venus or the transit of Venus in the 1600s, it wasn't stated that that distance was a fact. It was okay. like a factual distance. It was an estimate. Was the sun a fact? Did they put any facts down? Like, was the sun a fact? Was the moon a fact? The distances, I know that they're there, that's a fact, but the distance to the sun, the distance to the moon, the distance to Venus, how did they get the first number on a piece of paper? Don't talk about transients and 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 bunch of other who we transient, say transient, the first not number, transients. The first actual number on a piece people? of paper was what? That's estimates. Even the even the most precise ones we have today. That's exactly, exactly this distance. How can it be an estimate today? Holy fuck. Because every measurement has a margin of error. So they're all <laughs> technically, every measurement is an estimate. Dude, if I measured something in the 1600s, my, my margin of error would be a trillion miles plus or minus. That depends on what you're measuring. I mean, anything. honestly. Fuck, if I go past the firmament, anything. Um, circles and radiuses don't really change with time, so the tools that they use to measure it, while approximations aren't any worse, the math isn't any worse. Yeah, oh god, accurate. here we go, thank you. Like, circles thank still have 360 degrees, you still me measure one arc radian for each degree. I mean, that And that's hasn't why the distance to the what is... So you sound very incredulous. Have you actually looked into this, or are you just disbelieving because you don't think it's possible? I know for a fact that if I did anything with 1600s technology, and then, then the shit stuck today, it's beyond the word miracle, all right? Beyond. But it's just the careful application of geometry. Oh, well, my God, again, the careful that. application. Tell geometry. me the geometry again. Please Triangles. tell me the geometry again. Now, how do you get a number? I told you again. The, I'm the measuring the angle. In my house, the distance here. 
Tell me to answer this question again. Mm -hmm. The distance from my house to Bob's house is two thirds the distance from my house to Frank's house, Here, which is I'll three quarters really the distance example. to Kosho's house. I'll give you a really easy example. Do they did they track an entire year? A what? Did they know how long a year was? Eventually, yeah, they figured it out. Okay, there's a fucking number. Do you know what how many that? degrees are in a circle? Yeah. There's another number. See where I'm going with this? And this is just using geometry and observation. No, go on, go on. You're doing great. Okay. A year, 360 degrees in a circle. Uh -huh. I'm waiting for a number. How many, days are, how many days are in a year? 365. Is that close to 360? Can you make an Absolutely. approximation with that? I will, I will give you that. There you go. One to one. Go on. Perfect. Perfect. You now know where they got their original numbers from. Ta-da. What? You said you didn't know how they got numbers. I just gave you a crystal clear example of how they got numbers. They didn't use any it's, tools. They just use observations and geometry. One year to my birthday, there's 360 degrees on a ball, and that's why the moon is a quarter yes. of a million miles away. There's no, I don't know. There's a lot of steps in between. You wanted the first one. We really need to actually look into it's the geometry control. instead of just being incredulous. Because you just have to um, Guys, th this is, this is not, he's not even trying, years trying to trigger ball people ball. here. That's all he's doing. This is nothing wrong. 2,000 years of baltardism. Sorry, Paul, I think you should go uh, sober up, come back in a couple hours, get some coffee. Two hours of fucking baltards. Two thousand years. Sober up, dude. Sober explain. up. This is how out. we got the moon. I just want I to point out that you have to specifically Venus, the moon. Numbers. Pick one. And Pick I a number. number. Look, I'm just saying, you asked for numbers and how they got them. Oh, I okay. Gave you an answer. I'm 53 years old. It's 360 degrees in a circle. There's 365 days in a year. And that's why the moon is a quarter of a million miles away. Nobody said now, that. if you cannot see that, you're clearly a fucking retard. Did uh, I get I, you right? Did I, I, did I do a good curve on that one? I would just, How was that curve? What do you think? Was that good? No did I miss something? Here. What is the point in them being here? It makes no sense. Well, I think uh, just as uh, everyone uh, wants to make their points, he, he feels he has a good point. <laughs> points came out and he knows it well oh, i thought this was a good one dude this is this is this is iron cast iron law i'm 53 a dick. i'm 53 years old there's 360 degrees in a circle there's 365 days in a year and that's exactly what, what, you use all that question? you program that in what's a quarter of a million miles of the moon. just taking up everyone's time saying nonsense man Dude, this I is what would, you were saying. Have. This is what you guys just fucking said. No, we don't. Go show. No, we don't. Okay. How did you put wrong, one fucking number down? Wrong. Nobody first, can teach you anything. The first you know thing. everything. You cannot be taught, and yet you can't understand. So just shut the fuck up. Somebody please. else talk, please. Well, maybe please. someone else can give an answer curved. Uh, another boy. I don't want to give. I don't want to give. I don't want to give an answer to him, but I will tell you that if anybody's curious, tonight is the quarter moon phase, uh, and the, the Aristosthenes. You guys know he did the, me the measurement of the Earth. So let's assume, just for the sake of this conversation, that those numbers were well within uh, the accuracy, which they were. Uh, Aristarchus then took those numbers and he used the eclipse, the lunar eclipse. And he got a number. Like I did this. I did this as well during the lunar eclipse last January. And um, he got a number that was about the same thing I got, like two hundred fifty thousand miles, um, based on Aristotle's numbers and his observation. Um, I don't want to go get into details and bore everybody, but so that that's that that gives you um, that information. If you have both those two pieces of information, um, you can do the, the an observation on the quarter moon phase which will be tonight at 10 p.m., but you could do it anytime today. Um, anyways, you just take the angle between mm. where the sun is and where the moon is in your sky and the, the, you make the fulcrum uh, point to the 
center of the earth. And you can try to, if, if you have a precise measurement, um, you'll, you'll get a pretty good answer for the, the ratio between the distance of the moon and the distance of the sun, which will, you know, give you the distance. So, but like I said, the, the, you have to be, have a precise angle because uh, even a small, um, a small change in degree, like a small error in degree will give you a, a big uh, difference. How big, by the way? Well, he got 87 degrees, 87.3 degrees was what he got. We get 89.85 today. And with 87 degrees, um, the ratio that he determined was that the sun was 19 times further than the moon. And his moon distance was fairly accurate, but that ratio is off compared to our um, 400 times the, ra uh, the distance, 89.85. Right. But he still was able to get the rest of it right based off of that huge mistake, right? Yeah, 2,000 years ago, he, his methods were fairly sound, but his instruments and, and everything and the information he had wasn't, wasn't the current. The equipment. He was, he was failed because of his equipment. I'm okay with that. You know, my only problem with that, Kosho, is uh, you stated that based on, based on ratios and an angle. Between the planets, not the moon. Yeah, no. He, yeah, got, he got a decent distance. He got a decent distance to the moon. If he had a decent distance to the sun and had enough observations to map out the or orbits of the other planets, he could work them out. But number one, he didn't have detailed uh, calculations of the other planets' orbits, and number two, he didn't have an accurate distance to the sun. The the, the beauty of the the eclipses and stuff like that. You can think of an eclipse kind of as a transit like a solar eclipse, um, but the, it's a special kind of transit where the objects appear to be almost the same size. And so he used that information to um, be able to make that ratio thing. Because if things appear to be the same size, then you can, um, you, there, it's fairly straightforward on um, how to determine um, the ratio between them. It's based on the angle, I mean. Hmm. I'm only thinking that the number 19 in satanic, in satanic symbology means this, whatever follows that number is a lie. That Where that, where'd you get that number? 19. I just brought it up. Okay, that's the number. Where'd you get it? I brought it up. Oh, oh uh, Kosho did. No, I mean, where, sorry, where did you get that it was satanic? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, basic, that, that's uh, off of uh, Marty Leeds. That, that's a quote from Marty Lee. It's actually he he Never does a lot that. of no he no he he debunks a lot of their numbers. Uh, he doesn't realize that it's a that Masonic is worshiping the devil, but everything else. Uh, he oh, you say he, you're saying that you got it that it's satanic from him, but he doesn't say it's satanic. No, he says that according to according to old ways that Masons used to. Hide in plain sight. One of the things was number nineteen. Anything that follows it is pure BS. I mean, the exact quote on pure BS is clearly misconstrued from Marty Leeds, but the general of what he said was conveyed. I'm not. This wasn't word for word, but a general. I think I got bang on. Uh -huh. Do you ever know what the um? Wait, what the hell is wrong? Oh, yeah, right. Do you happen to know what the um, cotangent of um, 87.3 is? Not without, to be perfectly honest with you. That's if fair I enough. I gave you a number, I Googled it. I, it, it uh, it's uh, about 1 over 19. That's okay. what it is. So, All right. Yeah, so numbers, so when you put them together the and you get other numbers, there's nothing you. really satanic about that. It's just, no, it's so just they, the, the values. So he picked a number that will end up equaling nine, that will have a 19 in there. Yeah, he picked a number that just happens to be what you would probably find today if you were to take that measurement right now. Because you, you can go outside and take this measurement right now, and you'd probably get something close to what he got. The angle to the moon will give me the distance to the sun. I explained it, so if you, I'm not going to explain it again, of course. So no. I don't yeah. want you to because you clearly cannot see that you need values in there other than 
other than knowing an angle. You need, if you're going to calculate a triangle, you have, you have a choice. You must know either all three angles and one side. Actually, I don't, I don't think you need all three. You definitely need two and one. Okay, let's Either look at the two sides of an angle or two angles on a side. Quarter of moon phase, where it's a half moon, tells you that there's at least one 90 degree angle. The distance to the sun, which I've already stated to you, was um, found fr uh, from the eclipse. Okay? And so, what's the other one? How do you one, get two. a number? Yeah, so this is the, that's, that's if you use oh, the so equation, angles. but this is. Um, so far, you. Go oh, so far you number. Wow. This is not used. This is not. Not making the same kind of triangle. This is using a. Um, that's what we use the cotangent to find the ratio between them because it's the same size. Okay, you've got two. You've got an angle. I'll give you the angle. You're staring at the moon. I will not question that angle. Whatever that angle is, I am not going to question it. Mm -hmm. You're standing on Earth, measuring something from Earth. No question. Now, looking at the moon. How do you determine anything that has to do with length? I already went over that, man. I'm asking I'm you again. You won't talk to you anymore, dude. Guessing. It's a guess. The people the in this room, I respect them too, dude. I just went over guess. the whole thing with you. I'm not doing it. Kosher, you, you need, right. you got an angle. Measure the distance yeah. that you re see the transmission of the light back from the retro reflector. Boom. You you got the exact distance to the moon. You don't have to take any angles. You don't have to know the length of a stick or length of anything. You just shoot a laser. It travels at the speed of light. It reflects off the moon. And when you receive that single back, you can get the distance. Using that theory, you won't actually know. If no, you that's not the theory. distance. That's not and then you theory. Can. Chris, let this guy speak up, man. And then you can find if out if this theory is. This guy is not talking. No, 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 it's not. But how did he do it in the 1600s? I don't give a fuck how they do it. Do it now. Exactly. You can do welcome it. To, welcome to the origins of your story. They're all based on. I don't give hold a on, fuck. Hold on, stop, stop, stop. Can you, can you please admit that it doesn't fucking matter that we can do it right now? Will you please admit that? Because if you can't admit that, then why are we even having a conversation with this Because guy? Because apparently they did this in the 1600s. I don't care if they did it in the 1600s. I, I don't admit, I admit that they did it. That we can go out today and do it. The, the, yes, we, 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 fired, today? we fired a light off of a reflector. On the moon hey, that we never hey, been to. I, I don't care what rudimentary measurement they got or how they derived it. The fact remains, well, not right now because it's light out, but tonight I can take a radio and I can do an earth moon earth bounce and calculate the distance by doing that. I think you do that during the okay. day too. Yeah. yeah. Well, if I if I want if I wanted to take the time to locate it, but I can do it tonight where I can visually see it and you know, you know what? Congratulations. Today yep. you have an angle and you have a method of determining distance. Yeah. Uh, yes, I got Okay. Basic, okay. I, got basic I will give you that. I will I will I won't even question that your that your logic is iron. Specifically said, January in this blue. Hold on. This is stupid. How did he do it? Give one example. Fifteen hundred, you moron. Party pole. Wait a minute. Please. So, so you can get out your measuring tape. Measure the distance across your bedroom on your phone. You can download an app that will shoot light across your room. And you can see that that light measurement or that measurement across your room is accurate. Therefore, you will know that we can measure things with laser. Thank you, Chris. Yeah, uh, party poet. The thing, the thing. Thank uh, you. Yeah, party poet. The Thank thing that I said to you when I talked to you before that I said I wasn't going to say again. I told you that I did the same thing Aristarchus had done when he determined it. I told you how he did it, and what numbers he used, and I told you. Uh, 
What, what, what number uh, did he use? I said all this fucking you shit told, to you, dude. You I said, told me the angle that he used. No, I know. That was the was... party poet. In, in, in between when I told you how he got the distance to the sun, I told you how he got the distance to the moon by using the, uh, the lunar eclipse. He made observations during the lunar eclipse, the same way I did last Again. January during that lunar eclipse. Again. Again, the problem is you have an angle. A triangle is based... That's so not, it's not trying, two man. One. Maybe, maybe with higher math, you can do one and one. Who cares I about triangles? Exactly. Not with with angles or triangles, triangles, man. Do not matter. With basic geometry, you can figure, you, you can figure this out. You don't need Tri higher math. Well, tri Thank you. Triangles don't me. matter. Triangles do basic. not matter. I just gave geometry. you an experiment that you could do right now. Chris, Chris calm down. That down. proves... <laughs> Well, he he's totally rejecting what I'm saying, which is actually well, true. You can measure the distance across a room with a tape ruler. Don't be surprised, you Chris. You can download an app. You can download an app and see if cool. the, the app gives you the same distance across your room as a tape measure. And then you can say, well, it does, because it will. Chris, I guarantee you that it will. You said this to and him, then you he's can talking about take that knowledge and shoot a laser at a retro reflector at the moon and receive the, the bounce back, and you could know for a fact because of the measurement of your room that it's giving you an accurate distance. You Boom. Said these you don't words need triangles. Ago, you don't need anything. Said this. Dude, I he's not even talking about that. He's yeah. talking about modern day observations. Not he's talking about the, the first one. Ladle, man. Triangles. Do what I said. Chris, Chris. I need to explain to this right. person. Bounce a laser off of something that on a on a on a on a ball we never been to, and there's a reflector there based because people who were never there put it there, and because of that, you are experiment you can kicked ass. Reason. You can come up with any reason to to deny it and say that it's not there and people weren't there and blah blah blah. Uh, Fine. Cool. I'm saying but, whether but it's the, there but, or not. On, but the way. fact remains. It's become really boring. <laughs> All over the wait. Look, uh, I got to get some... a message to Chris. He's he's in danger of hellfire. He's speaking words of heresy. Chris, I heard you say triangles don't matter. Is that correct? Yes, from my Chris, experience, they do not matter. Chris, that breaks oh, my heart to hear you say that. How how can you do that? Triangles now don't matter. fly off of the subject with two oh, shells. No, Repent, He's a fundamentalist, man. There's no convincing him. I don't know why you are still trying. He's delusional. How he did is. they do ladle man? How did they do it in the 1600s? If you're playing games with them or something like that, or just getting them to, you know, explain a bunch of his stupid theories for comedy, that's yeah. one thing. But to try yeah. to have a real comedy. With yeah. them and get what are you them laughing when I said you got numbers. Numbers. you're doing that? <laughs> and again, Lil, yeah. seriously, yeah. repent. Yeah, other dudes here. Oh, there were other you have to take here. two ball parts and oh, yeah. marry. Need for my example, I do not need triangles to you form always a need triangles. Triangles. Whether you know it or not, you always need no, trigonometry. Is essential. Triangles are there for you. you. Trigonometry is essential. Part of part. There's we have to draw out a triangle to do this. And right. dude, this was told to you by the biggest retard on this server. Oh, it wasn't. Part part. Can, you, can you do me a favor and not to say anything for a second? There's other flat earthers in here. I thought maybe we could talk to them instead. Yeah, go ahead. Talk to the other floor first. Maybe they can ask you, how did you get a number on a piece of, an actual number? On Maybe a they can ask, first. just let, let us find out if they do. I've told you the yeah. answer is party poet. I'm not happy that you're going to keep asking about that. Dude, this. tell me. That's what's annoying is he's been told. I've heard you tell him. And he's like, can you explain it again? You didn't understand it then. You didn't under You won't understand yeah. it now. And you won't understand it the next time you fucking ask. Hang on, me. hang on. Did any of the other flat earthers figure out the explanation that they gave? Am I the only guy here who thinks they're retarded? No, I think you're. I don't think you're. I think your answer is retarded. 
flowers. You know he is retarded. You know he is. You know this, I'm retarded. Yeah, uh, yeah. You, we know you're retarded. Herb, I'd like to vote Herb, retarded as well. from you is it, 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 it warms my cockles. Has David been unmuted yet? My cock's on fire because of you. It's right? muted. Yeah, David's asking to be unmuted. Party boy, you should see a doctor about that if that's the case. I mean, for God's sake, no, if I mean, party boy, you can't have David muted. Curb, you can't have anybody muted. Or people. I mean, Jeremy should be allowed to run wild right now if you're going to let Party Poet talk. All right, I've, I've got a new formula. So I've, I've got two of them now. I'm going to put uh -oh. it in the chat. Here we go. I'm Holy excited. Holy hell, Dave has got a formula. Here it comes. Make a, it's how to make a Babylonian oh, hold taco. Oh, hold on a minute. That wasn't all of it. Here we go. Is it or, or multiple or uh, hold, multiplication? Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Didn't uh, distance equals gravity? No, just hold on. Here, I'm gonna put it all in one sentence for you since somebody already typed in there. Copy. All right, we're pasting it now. Here you go. All right, somebody can read that if they want to. David, why don't you play trivia with us? All right, time. Time times distance equals gravity. Right? No, that's not how you read it, Dave. All right. Distance traveled by a falling object, big G, is equal to the area under the graph of velocity plotted against little that's g right. distance. Dave, Dave, that's how you type it. That's not even wrong, David. It's a derivative, though, right? All right. It's it. equal to the area under the graph of velocity plotted against d, distance, and time. T times D equals G. Oh, you God. know, it just got to topic, Big has got to be big G. T times D equals big G. G. You think G. that the TD Bank was trying to tell you something? Did that guy finally get uh, his what? answer about how they figured it out, 1600? It's all, so all about the Babel. You're talking to me now. It's all about Babylonian time. It's about the 360 <laughs> system, man. Dave, Listen to me. You want to hear something? You want me to tell you how bad you white boys are? I don't. You want me to tell you how bad you white boys are? You can't even come up with your own <laughs> shit. Okay, you all are nothing but copiers. You're like you're like those uh, crab, uh, fit, you know, sand crabs that uh, are, could, you know, clone themselves. Get it, get it that's, a, that's a very, yeah. it's a very stupid idea because you're saying that we're all the same because we're repeating something that's been proven. Yeah, oh, you're nothing but repeaters. Yeah. It's like the latest. Don't need to be different. Here, let, to just do. listen to this. Is shut up. If you interrupt, you're gonna have to come out. Go ahead. So, you David, your point is, is that in order for me to actually be believed, what I have to do is come up with my own unique theory. So, on that premise then, mate, the moon is made of feet and the earth is made of, of my left hand. It, it's just ridiculous. Well, it's just, like, it's just like your time, right? All of your calculations are based on a 360 system, a Babylonian system, not even a white Sorry. boy system. And then you yeah, and then you don't even figure out what the Babylonians system. are talking about for another thousand years, and you claim yeah. your Greek gods and your Aryan Brotherhood are the are the best and the broadest, but you're following a bunch of uh, uh, packies over in uh, Babylon. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to hear that. Jeez, right. well, that Can went you just very calm quickly. down, David? We've been hearing you for a few yeah. fi fi a few hours now. <laughs> David, if you if you, if you just gotta oh, take it down a notch, man. You're not liked in your neighborhood, are you, mate, David? Yes, you're one you sound like, remute, so you David. sound like you sit on your rocking chair all day complaining right. about shit that doesn't affect you. <laughs> What's yeah. the very brother Aki is not the same for here that it is to you guys over there, like in the UK. Uh, sorry, I didn't hear Is David not a white guy? Because he sounds like one. I didn't I didn't hear that. What was no, that? no, no. He's He's a red man. David's a red man, right, David? A red man. A red man. What the fuck is a red man? I, 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 I want them half breeds. I want the original half breeds over here, you know? You know how it is. Be the right to be a racist. Is that what you're saying? 
Yeah. Right. Hey, shut as the long fuck as up. you're in my all right, audience. All right, please. listen to this. All this, all, all this suggests that the Babylonians had a mathematical worth copying, which was what the Greeks did, copy it, and therefore they rooted these numbers in their Western tradition. Okay, so that you've what you've basically copied the Babylonians, right? right. Okay, and, and so what is it, the Western mathematics? tradition, right? And what, what, what and what so, the, so the made? mathematical sophistication is the discovery of right, the astronomers okay. knew that the listen to this the distance traveled by a moving object is equal to the area under the graph of velocity plotted against time. That's how they figured out this, and they did this with Jupiter, right? Okay, so David, I could what I could do if you want in TP making and wigwam smoke signals and go to a different channel. Yeah. No, David, if you want, if you want to play big words, mate, I can throw a plethora of them at you all day long. But what you're doing no, right I, now, I have is a new, you're I have a talking new when he's talking, David. For your fuck's whole thing is based on useless things, mate. What what are you on about Babylonian mathematics? Go on, rattle some off to me and actually give me a give, give me a link. Give me something that I can look at and go, oh yeah, you're actually right with that instead of just quoting it out at me. Because, uh, here, here's because... my formula: T times D equals oh. big G. You get okay. it? T times so D. T so times D equals big G. The rate at which something falls is it can be calculated in time, which is a second, right? So you could calculate a second in the time that it takes for an object to drop. So right. T it times D equals G. So T, gravity is time. Let's just say something very briefly, because I don't want to rhyme about this. But when we think about gravitation on Earth, we talk about acceleration. So mm. the acceleration of Earth's gravity. So when you're talking about the speed and time, that's going to give you um, that's going to give you your speed, right? I'm sorry, the speed and time. Um, this, this change of speed over time is going to give you your velocity. So that's why you take the um, derivative, which is the area in that graph. That's all it's talking about. It's taking the derivative of the speed and time, getting the acceleration, and that's going to. Um, the only way you can measure time is by, by the rate at which something drops. That's the only way you can measure time. One second equals 16 feet. Exactly. Thank you very much. T times D equals G. That's my new deal. I've got three of them on the books now. Temperature is a force. Uh, planisphere, P-L-A-N-A, planisphere, and uh, it is the T times D equals Michael Big G. King All right, thank you very much. I'll show you. Oh, uh, which journal or uh, publisher was also? Just curious. Tested for the revolution of the Earth. I'm around. sorry, you have to help me out. Well, I'm trying to help you. While y'all... Been sitting while y'all have been sitting around not coming up with nothing. I've been put. I've been writing books over here. Hi, <laughs> David. Oh, you have. You've just been copying like everyone else. You claim is copying. You didn't come uh, up with you, the word big you, G. You, you didn't come up with the word time. You didn't come up with the word distance. Yeah, David, like you didn't come up with a way to turn up your yeah. mic so loud you yell at everybody and scare off <laughs> new people that might come to the bloody server. You're a bad look and low. Oh, he's much, he's much more refreshing than the bullshit. Nothing. Uh, what, what's wrong? On. What's wrong with my for, What's wrong with my formula then? T times D equals big G. It's little G. Little G. David, why don't you look at the units of the equation of what you're writing? It's usually a hint. Like, just do, um, try some dimensional analysis and see if it actually if that part works out. It's not wrong. It's just I don't know if you even understand what it means, but just yeah, it's just a, show. It is just absolutely you claim, wrong. Just because you claim wrong, that's to talk about something. The derivative, make the derivative of this uh, speed is, is going to give you the acceleration, which is the little g. The the thing is, is just no, because you, you claim to acceleration. Just because you claim to have written a book about something doesn't magically make you more intelligent or what you're saying right. You know, I, it, it's just. To, to, to come up with an argument like that saying, oh, well, I clearly know what I'm on about because I've written a book. It could be the scramblings of a fucking idiot, which, to be honest, mate, is what it sounds like. Well, Batman, his book is like basically a piece of paper with some crayon scribbling. And this is, but this is my point, is, is to, come at, to come at someone with that argument is absurd because I know for a fact that there are probably 90% of the people in this chat are more intelligent than I am when it comes to subjects to do with the shape of the earth or any science for that matter. So what I do is listen to them. What I don't do is say, oh,
oh well you know i read a couple books i looked up some stuff on youtube and i wrote a book of my own and therefore i'm more intelligent than you are who spent years of your life studying it all right let me ask you a question when you when something falls right there's this amount of speed involved in that falling and then if you take time and distance you can figure out what the speed is of the object can't you Sorry, I, I I missed the end of that. Yes, David. I did it with the, David. I just oh, did it with the slinky. What am I doing? Am I measuring the, the the top of the slinky falling or the bottom of the slinky falling? I'm I'm confused. Well, I didn't I didn't hear the end of that. What what did he ask? He just asked you if you measured, if you measured the um. Well, you asked it again, David. Just the last part of what you said. Time and distance. Can you get velocity? Yes, you can, David. Yeah. You take it out, Danik. But and I'm not sure what. But what's what's the point behind that argument? And Coach is taking it one step further. That doesn't equal accel acceleration. He said nothing. Yeah, he said, what he said after that does. What did he say? He after says the derivative of that. Derivative of what? Speed. The velocity. He didn't say derivative of velocity. Yeah, he, he said the, he said speed, but you know what he means. What he said? He said what? What he suppose is his exact word? He said the. You said you take the area of the graph, of that graph. That's the derivative. He later did say derivative, but when he when he says take the area of that graph, that's taking the derivative. It. No, exactly. Kosher, Kosher, the area is the integral, and, and Zanagi's right. right. It was the, it was the right. integral of the velocity versus time plot gives you the distance, which is which is right. Okay, I didn't the graph. I didn't remember him saying a word like derivative or even change for that matter. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. area. He didn't say derivative, but it's what it's the integral. It's the area, though, yeah. which is correct. Right. <clears throat> but what what is the uh... Well, what's the argument behind that? Is, the, is, is that does that only... does that does that sentence? If you change it to little g instead of big g in that sentence where it says distance traveled by a falling object little g is equal to the area under the graph of velocity plotted against d distance and time. Is that a correct statement? Little g, sure. David, can you please post what you're reading? Because how can you, you're, you're misquoting what you're, what you're reciting. David, it's David, can I, can I ask what, what, your, what your argument of that is? Then? If, you, if you're getting to the acceleration of a falling object equaling little g, you're right. Is that what you're getting at? <laughs> but what's yeah. the point behind this? Yeah, what, exactly. what, are you, what are you trying, because what are you that's, trying that's, to that's that, that, Because that's exactly how you would measure time. How is it measured? You wouldn't measure. You wouldn't measure. You, would, you, you wouldn't measure time in a base sixty oh, system. I see. So he's measuring or a, a, an exact measurement of, of a second, or exact right. measurement of time. Right. So exact measurement. What, what are you trying to get out of that? Units of measure are important here. So you can have any unit of measure you want. I can have acceleration be nine point eight, or I can have some other value. How do you know what's what's right? What are you talking about? How does it measure time if I use other meters, other measure than than meters? What if I use inches per second squared or feet per second squared? It's a whole different set of numbers. How does that point to time? Because time is the is the duration for the measurement. That's where you get that's where you get your duration of time to begin with, isn't it? What if I don't use seconds, what if I use hours? Zana, can we use Fortnite? Time. Instead? <laughs> My buddies and I have a new new system where velocity is measured in furlongs per Fortnite. There you go. I I think I'm a bit late to this. What what is the whole point of this argument? Point is to not yeah. take it seriously. There never there is a point. As, as David developed a new. David, 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 David is a good guy, and he's taking the piss out of people who don't realize it. Okay. Roger that. Cheers, David. Mate. Get in the bin. Hey, ask him what, what happens if we use the calculations on Mars. I don't think I, I don't think I want to, mate. I feel like it's just going to go more downhill than it already could. Well, just, Actually, just... Zanik, while you're here, could you explain how they got a distance to the distance to the moon in the 1600s with they Galileo don't. there? Come on, party point. It was, it was to Venus. Why are you not changing to the moon? We've all been we've all been here, Zanik. We all said it to him already. So I know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get around with that. What we we, 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 we un, unleashed the crack in of David right. just to move away. From that. Party party pants party pants. What what about the explanation that explanation has already been given to you? Are you having a problem with? Well, 
the more part likely. I'm having a problem with is with one angle and, and apparently with knowing one angle and one side of a triangle, you were able to figure out the whole triangle. Please Actually, don't make if you could explain anything about that triangle without... I'll let you guys go on. I just I wanted to yes, invite I mean, people. Estimate, that would be appreciated. Yeah, I'm going to let you guys... I just want to invite people for <laughs> trivia in about 15 minutes time exactly. I just have to watch. Uh, Kosho, just so you know, up. that the same thing you said about an hour and a half ago. No, we, yeah, we played. We played then. You weren't there, man. You should come play. Came and played. But just come down below. I'll announce it before then. By the way, part of it, you yourself said, said you need to know two just angles and a side. Down. Party poet, you said you need to know two angles and a side, which you get with a parallax very easily. You know how parallax ahead. works, party poet? Uh, actually, I would like, let's pretend that I'm an utter retard and you're going to explain the whole thing to me from a five-year-old perspective. Try to keep it in that range so that it's clear and understandable that even a five-year-old can understand. Because after 2,000 years, you should be able to explain this to a five-year-old. So you remember when I talked to you earlier and we talked about uh, radians, right? Uh, I remember that you guys said that because you guys know the the ratios between various moon, various planets, this can give you a distance somewhere. We know we know that it takes roughly twenty eight ish days for the moon to orbit the Earth, right? So we can plot out that orbit as a circle, and we know that that full circle. The 360 degrees takes 28 days, correct? Hey, party poet, can I just say one thing? you got to remember this is all Babylonian math that these white boys copied. you got to understand this. These, none of these ideas are their own. They're all memorized answers from the Babylonians from the tablets. They never came up with anything new. They never improved on it. They just copied and pasted it, and they turned everybody into drones believing that, the, and they don't even measure time with speed. They measure time in increments. Thank you very much. Dave, I, you try to explain it to them with Babylonian, and they will simply get mad at you because I already did. One of the numbers they crept up at me was 19, and 19 in, in their math means that whatever comes after is an utter lie. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna address this because this is just a bit absurd now. Where the fuck did you pull that number from? Because if it wasn't from there, it was probably from your ass. Because a few people have looked for that now. And uh, where's that number come from? Show me what where. What number? The number 19. Oh, apparently something to do moon and sun, and you get, like, cosines 1 over 19. Which is what means that anything that immediately follows is a lie. Well, according to Mason, the way Masons used to hide everything right. in plain okay. sight, if I told you I was numbers. a Freemason... Yeah, this is Freemasonic math. Right, okay. And Freemasonic, if I you, I Freemasonic, was Freemasonic and coding. Whoop, whoop, okay, whoop, great. Coding. Right, I, I guarantee you, mate, at no point have I ever been told that if I want to hide something or lie about something, I sign the number 19 or say anything to do with it. That's just There's ridiculous. There's various numbers. Holmes, hang on. They, they got more than one. 19 just says what comes, what comes after the 19 is a lie. No, no, it doesn't. No, no it doesn't. No. Okay. Well, where, where how, you I told you that came off of Marty Leeds, and uh, and I happen to like his analogy of 